Good morning, CEO Taku. It is time. Mortal Kombat 1 action here for Top 8. I'm one of your commentators, Zero, alongside Wonder Chef. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's been a sick weekend. This has been my first CEO Taku, and it's been literally one of my favorite events of all time. Yeah. Plus, of course, I mean, we got so much more Kombat 1. We got to see everybody trying out all their new stuff. Literally, yes. week one slash technically like day like three tournament, if you technically count right. the actual official <laughs> release. But, yo, it's been so, so good. And we yeah. had some really cool like characters and players making it all the way to the top eight. Uh, I, a lot of stuff I didn't expect. Let's just yeah, put that way. Yeah, this turnout has been absolutely spectacular. I've learned so much in the last three days of this uh, game. Take a look at this top eight here. We have Punk, Full Auto, going to be your first set. And then it's going to be Parsap and Striker, followed by Zintai and Infinity, who, whoa, that victory to get in the top eight, <laughs> let me tell you. And then Toxin up against Coach Steve on the loser side there. Yeah, some really, really well-known NRS players, some players maybe that some people don't know, uh, some that came up a little bit later in Mortal Kombat yeah, 11's yeah, life, yeah. some players that I'm not even as familiar with, and then of course, uh, we, we can't knock talk about Punk, right, who is <laughs> just literally just cracked at every single fighting game, it's like yes. not even fair. Yeah, the exploration again that uh, uh, Punk has taken throughout this game has been fascinating to watch, uh, to see uh, a, another approach, right? Because this is another one of those opportunities where uh, a fighting game has brought in multiple walks of life from various uh, practices into this game, and Punk is definitely showcasing why they're such a top player in every game that they play. Yeah, and also, I mean, we got to talk about character selection off the bat, right? Full yes. Auto, well known for playing a little bit more of like a zoning play style in pretty much every single game right. so far, but not today. Uh, was going Sindel for most early tournaments. Exactly. Uh, this time around, we're going to see the Ashra Mirror, which is really, really uh, yeah. interesting for a pick, but Ashra's one of those characters that a lot of people have so been, especially over like the past couple, three right. days, have been saying, whoa, hold on a minute. This character so might have the sauce. Game. Yeah, I mean, she has a little bit of everything, right? Uh, excellent anti ever Down back three um, also has great great pickup with a, a variety of cameos to support them as well. Um, has some great uh, zoning game as well, a little bit uh, low fireball game too. Uh, plus the reach with sword normals are absolutely insane. Yeah, there's just, yeah, she can do so many weird little things, but even with just a basic game plan, uh, which I think is really, really strong for day, any sort of like day or week one, I should say, yeah, tournament, yeah, yeah. Uh, your basic game plan is gonna be really solid. There's strong overhead options, strong low options, just these really good mids, this like a knee string that we're gonna be seeing, uh, but also the character has a lot of flexibility. Uh, you were kind of mentioning like with cameos, so right now we're gonna be seeing Sector, and so Sector is gonna be covering so, so much of the approach. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna add a lot to like safe mix-ups, look at call things you're not supposed to. Sony, on the other hand, gives you the highest forward throw damage in the game, so it's going to make a stronger strike throw game. Yeah. It's going to be able to give you more conversions off of combos, but it's not yeah. going to help you as much in, like, the mid-neutral. Yeah, it is yeah. going to give you a fireball, though. So there's, like, so much to talk about about these two, yeah. but here we go. Full auto on the right, pump on the left, and there's going to be the Astra Mirror to start things off. Two out of three until we get to finals. Yep, absolutely. Nice down three interrupt here. It's going to start the turn out here. I believe that's going to be for... Ooh, nice overhead here. We got the aerial pickup as well. Nice down back three to extend and finish. Yeah, didn't quite get the full conversion, so we are just gonna see, oh nice, the side switch. That's one really nice thing is that off of the launches, you can do the air combo into either the side switch, uh, back forward two, or the non-side switch. You can choose which side you're right, on. Right. And, oh, the dark form, using that instead, you're not gonna get the hit off the end of it, but you're gonna be able to use it as a mobility Ooh. tool, a nice pickup. Yeah, excellent poke right there, down one, interrupt. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, great awareness from Punk to not to overextend on that overhead string. Nice aerial combo to get the corner position as well. Oh, there's that wow. mid straight conversion all the way there. This might be enough. It's actually going to be really close. So every single Fatal Blow in the game does 350 damage. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter which character you're using uh, or which cameo you're using. So just off of two hits, it barely scales, and that should be enough for 30. Nice comeback just off of that knee. Yeah, absolutely. With just one touch away from death there. So way to clutch it out. Ooh. Okay. Almost had an excellent air combo right there, but already routed to the fireball. Nice pickup on down back three. Oh, just going for it right there. That was a little bit of like a risky option, but they're overhead, and uh, Full Auto's getting the mix going. When Full Auto's on the offense, it's looking really, really good, but Punk is, I think, winning a little bit more in some of these little scramble situations. A lot more usage of that knee, which is a pretty big deal. That's going to be her fastest mid, and knowing what your fastest mid is and how to use it in Mortal Kombat 1 is super important. Yes. Speaking of, there we go, closing it out with the knee. This time, though, from Full Auto. All right, an explosive set to start things off here. Dark stance from Punk. Already got the knockdown. Ooh. <laughs> so that 
that's a really cool like read to be able to say, okay, you're gonna teleport up to me, I'm just gonna straight up hit you out of it. But mm -hmm. you can actually cancel that as it's going on. And so there's like a big mind game to it. Uh, and again, of course, that's only gonna work that way in the dark stance. You can also cancel the light one, but if you're not really as worried about it since you can just block it and punish it. Uh, nice big conversion into yep. the corner. Oh, kind of a late breaker there, I would say. Yeah, I mean, damage already done at that point. Yeah, okay. it's not gonna be like too much. I mean, your research is so, so big in this game. Yeah, yeah, nice throw. All right, got the full screen position as well. See what we do with it. Striker coming with a Shoryuken. Very nice. Yeah, that's going to be a really nice option for full screen presence as well. Uh, we were seeing originally Sector mostly used sort of for like coverage, like with the up yeah. missiles, and then also just conversions in combos yeah. with the uh, uppercut. But you can use the up teleport uppercut as kind of like a zoning tool, right? It's yeah, not like yeah. super unsafe if you're just throwing it out from the full screen. And Astra doesn't really have traditional projectiles, right? In the life right. form, she's got the big uh, crescent attack mm -hmm. that's like plus and mid, and uh, you just kind of follow it. In the other form, she's got the dark one that goes on the ground. But having a little bit more of a full screen check is cool. It looks like we might be going, though, back to Full Auto's Classic here, thinking about the Sindel. I mean, solid pick, right? You're going to try to pick out the zoning, but also you're looking for somebody that has strong whip punishing capability in uh, Punk, right? Because Punk is going to be slowly walking mm -hmm. down Sindel, and that's the big fear. Punk has been in these scenarios before where they have to be so patient at the full screen game to slowly chip away at the opponent's health. It's no different here. So Oh, okay, so oh, interesting. Yeah, going going for the, the sub pick. That's a, that's starting to become a little bit more of like a classic pick yeah. for the uh, Sindel. It lets her get some nice conversions, and uh, there are some like single projectiles that you're gonna be able to get through with Ashra, but not yeah. as big of a deal. Uh, mostly just sub gives you more health, gives you more throw damage, and then just gives you those big conversions it's alongside the shoulder, which is actually a really good reversal. Pick. Yeah, I would have thought Serena would have been the pick in this match up here, so we'll see how uh, Sub Zero works out right now just using the armor just to make sure that there's not gonna be any projectile shenanigans which definitely could be the case uh, and now this is gonna be tough because we are gonna have a little bit more of a zoning game uh, like you mentioned definitely punk more used to than most players in the world just walk people down yeah. uh, through zoning but full auto also just so mm. well known for playing a little bit more of like the defensive zoning game yeah and uh, even just you know fighting back from those uh, I guess opposite pressure situations okay jump back fireball armored up as well Nice, excellent combo here with the restand. And the freeze, and the call to, to, so for anybody who doesn't know what that does out there, it uh, it actually makes it so that your cameos recharge faster. There's a mm. lot of mechanics that Sindel has with cameos. She's got one that can actually control the opponent's cameo if they happen to call it out, but uh, right there, it was just to get sub back a little bit faster. Unfortunately, it gets hit after the fact, so once mm. again, fall out of fighting out of the corner, but oh, these these cartwheels, these forward fours, such a good mid-string. That was a little bit of an input error right there. Doesn't get punished that hard, though, but Ooh. this is a chance for a comeback. Yeah, absolutely. Close for the fatal blow, but didn't really believe in that string right there. Also, a little bit low to even call that out, too. Yeah, that, uh, the conversions in the fatal blow in this game are pretty odd. Yeah. Sometimes uh, a lot of the fatal blows are kind of slow, honestly. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you've got to really know exactly what your conversions are, especially early on. It's like, I don't know if you want to try it out there. And of course, you can break them as well. Right. Oh, goes for the full far, like range 2 1. That string does crumple on hit, so we just got to see the full conversion. Nice. Already got the reset one more time here. Let's have a little bit of Sub-Zero, so we're probably going to armor up. There it is. Yeah, so far we haven't even really seen it uh, eat any projectiles. It's more yeah. so just say, like, don't even try it, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you even, you even try it, and I'm going to look into the wrong way. I mean, you're Azra with combo. that reach anyways. You're going to close that gap, get the poke anyway, especially the way that Punk has been playing defensively on the approach. Yeah, right now almost getting chipped out, but nice. Just landing Ooh. one deep jump kick. Doesn't get the full combo. A little bit of weirdness. Nice walking the full string. Commits to the entire forward four string. This time going for a little bit more of a stagger, but I think the pressure is like, yeah. Down the one. Pressure, it, it, it's good, but with that amount of life, eventually... Yeah. Sindel with her great normals is going to find a way out. And so we're up tied one to one. And again, it's two out of three just uh, for all of our early on yeah, matches. Yeah, yeah. So winners, finals, losers, finals, and grands will be three out of five. The Sindel pick does seem like it's working out really well, though. Uh, the sub has only come into play like a couple times. But again, you see 130 damage off the forward throw. That's going to be most than uh, everybody except for Sonya as far as cameos go, which we did see on the other side as well. And the strike throw yeah. game is so good from Sindel. She's not going to open you up as much with overhead loads, so I like that. Right now, though, just opening with everything, and her damage is ridiculous. Freeze. Yep. Charge. Oh, no. Didn't actually get the, uh, the charge off, but still, the damage is just ridiculous. Yes, indeed. Uh, nice air to air, but no, no big follow up there. Yeah, not not the uh, the biggest in the world. You, you don't need the the to get too much at this point right, right now. Uh, and right now, again, the chase is coming on from Punk. All right, lots of work to do. Great dodging these projectiles. Nice jump three. 
the sector whipping. That's actually yeah. a little bit unfortunate. And now match point for yeah. full auto. All right, do or die still. Fireball set up here, already armored up. Close range, nice pickup. That was an interesting attempt to back two right there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know exactly what it was fishing for. It would have been a full combo if it hit because you can float off it, get the full combo, but instead, she's just gonna be chilling. And uh, okay, finally, Punk is, is finding an opportunity to get in. The actual pressure yeah. has to continue. There are some mix-ups where you can go overhead low. Right now, it's just mostly been strike throw though. So, I mean, hey, it's working right now. Yes. You don't need too yes. much of a comeback here. All right, got the throw. And side swap, chase me one more time. Here it is. Nice tech. I love the fact that every, every uh, tech animation in this game has like a unique animation. It's yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Oh, just trying oh, to forward to underneath the projectiles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I'm waiting for it there. That was tricky too because that dive kick, we haven't seen too much of that in the set yet. Yeah, there's nice. so many different options you can do off of that. All right, just goes for the bait. Oh, no, yeah, that is punishable. Good knowledge by mm -hmm. Punk. And only okay, needs this okay. one hit. So match point, both players for our first round of the day. All right. Yeah, very stoic here. Looks like Falato's going to have a pretty solid advantage as far as uh, meter, mm -hmm. but does not have the screen advantage. Is fighting back into it a little bit. Uh, not totally cornered. Great throw tech, though. Punk is so, so good at throwing uh, tech and throws, which is honestly kind of like a risky option in this right. game. But, I mean, Punk's just got those reads, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice. There's the throw. Very sneaky. Low fireball. Keep you at bay. Full distance. Make it difficult to make the dash in, but Punk does not care. Nice approach with the air combo. 367. Oh, try for the armor. That's yeah. huge. Falado doesn't have quite enough to break. Probably going to be saving a little bit of meter for whatever the next combo is. You got to be scared here. Just going for chip. Oh, that's going to be the counter But yeah, knew that yeah. they couldn't do too much because of the sector missile. Gets the armor. Just needs to line one solid combo, but no. Ooh. Not enough meter to break because they spent the armor right there. And that's going to be Punk taking game number one, going to winner's finals. Or to heaven's finals. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Ooh, what a set here. I mean, already an explosive start, the back and forth, especially the Sindel switch. What a great call, but mm -hmm. uh, even still, that patience from Punk to make that forward approach, you know, being ever so cautious. Plus, the reach from Astra was really helpful in that approach as well, too. Uh, it was surprising to see that we didn't get a whole lot of uh, the missiles from Sector, and that set was a lot more uppercuts from Sector, which is quite unusual for that character especially when it's mostly hard knockdown missile oki setups yeah or like like midstream missile oki setups there's just yeah, so many yeah, yeah. cool things you can do with it but yeah. uh interestingly enough we didn't see kind of like the classic when we end up seeing that matchup is we'll see the missile and then we'll see the big overhead so for the yes. four three from astro she jumps over you yeah. if this was a back to block game that would be the most broken move in the game but <laughs> luckily it's just a straight up overhead it's usually pretty unsafe you have to special cancel it yeah. uh but the sector missile of course is going to make it like such a good option we yes. didn't see that i think a single time from punk no. it was just straight up, just like pressure, strike throw, staggers, yes. fundamentals. So uh, as expected, right, Punk, amazing <laughs> fighting game player, looking really good early on, our first yes. player in winner's finals. Yes, absolutely. Our next set will be Parsha up against Striker, the young gun out here in the MK1 scene. Yeah, uh, this is uh, going to be a very interesting character matchup, right? Yeah. So uh, uh, for anybody who hasn't been following along as closely, pretty early on in this game, which is basically since it's been released, we are still pretty early on in this mm -hmm. game, we've seen a lot of talk about how, uh, in particular, Havoc is a character that has yeah. some issues, right? There's definitely, uh, like, like almost without a doubt, like the lowest damage character in the game, uh, and that's just, that's just true. Uh, there are some issues with, like, the speed of mids. There's right. some issues with just some of the things that the character actually does, the weight of some of the juggles, for example. So... Uh, uh, definitely been a lot lower on a lot of people's tier list, but we have three Havoc players in top eight. I honestly don't know how it happened. It's like a miracle. Y'all didn't play story mode. That's what it is. Y'all <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. did not play story mode. Unbelievable. Honestly, though, kind of true, right? <laughs> so that's the one big thing, is that Havoc, you, you do need to play story mode to unlock it. Again, for anybody who doesn't know, it's been a long time since we had a fighting game. You actually have to unlock oh, characters yeah. in. Uh, but you have to beat story mode to unlock Havoc, and Havoc's a weird character, right? Yeah. Uh, a character where the uh, the only meterless armor in the entire game yeah. uh, has some really weird mechanics, like an unblockable launcher that you can set up. There's just so many weird little different situations that people just don't know yet, because yeah. I think a lot of the sweats, honestly, just they, they grinded through, they've been playing ranked, 
leagues, they've been playing in tournaments, and they're like, story mode, I'll save that for later. But yeah. unfortunately, the story for them is loser's bracket, because we got <laughs> two Havocs and winners. Yeah, I mean, hey, the secret tech, check out the uh, the tutorials, because you can actually do combo trials before you unlock Havoc. So if you want a little taste before you decide to purchase Havoc to unlock early or play through story and get practice, you get a little bit there. But yeah, I mean, it's tough to do homework on such a very recent character, a, a character that is gated in that way. But uh, really interesting uh, archetype as well, especially with the actual disjoint hurt boxes. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's been uh, some of the joke. Uh, somebody actually in the stream chat was like, oh, there's a lot of Dalsims in this game. And I was like, Dalsims? Like, they were saying there's a lot of teleports. And I was like, I uh, think the only real Dalsim is, uh, is Havoc, yeah, you know, with the stretchy with limbs. The, stretch just, limb. the unfortunately too realistic uh, version <laughs> of it in this game. Uh, but here we go, the Havoc Mirror. This is super cool. We yeah. also know the Strikers got a few other characters uh, up their sleeve. I know there was like the Reptile and the Reiko. So, right, right. Uh, just all the weird characters in the game. But who would have thought winners semifinals is going to be Havoc versus Havoc. And uh, again, yeah. great players. Uh, Par Parsa is a player that's been uh, coming up kind of, like, I think, later in the Mortal Kombat 11 life and yes. uh, definitely putting on a great showing early on here. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, both of those sticking with Sub-Zero on this character pick would be very interesting, too, because then you're avoiding a fireball game from Havoc, so it makes your approach a little bit safer as well, so you can kind of contend in close quarters without having to worry about the extra safety net from Havoc's fireball. Yeah, the other thing about Havoc is that you don't get the normal launcher, which is the big armored arm. You right. only get that off of, like, actual cameos that, like, freeze them or capture them in the net if you're Cyrax or any sort of way that you can actually just kind of, like, capture them. So Sub-Zero helps right. in, in health. Sub-Zero helps in, uh, you know, throw, like, strike throw, which you really, really need as Havoc. Sub-Zero helps in the combo game. Sub-Zero helps against anti-projectiles. It's literally just one of the most perfect fits for a cameo. And that's what we're going to see on both sides. The zoning is actually really strong from Ooh. Havoc, but, hey, they Immediately, you're both offering yeah. up. <laughs> All right, Let's throw starting here for Parsap. Another core <laughs> ball, both back to back ducking. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised that both of them are actually still trying to zone a little bit, <laughs> considering the fact there's been the, the sub uh, coming out on both sides. But hey, if you can use the uh, the sub cameo meter on the other side, then they're yes. not going to be able to get the combos. That's the thing. And uh, we already did see uh, Parsa. <laughs> I like that. Parsa, headband, striker, helmet production, that is goaded. <laughs> yeah, and I do like the backdash there from Parsap, waiting for Sub-Zero to build up that meter once again, too, because we don't want to go in without it. And it's, you know, you're throwing fireballs at each other, like you said, to try to waste that meter. So that's going to be the extended game plan here. Nice pickup to get the kill here from Parsap. Yeah, we're getting really, really nice conversions. That's that's going to be the strong special with the end with the spin, but there are yeah. a lot of situations where he can drop out of it because the waiting is so Ooh. weird on his combos, and uh, then you get full combo punish. So yes, needs to be on point. And even then, compared to some of the damage we've seen from the other characters, this is a very low damage matchup. Like, yeah. your biggest combos are going to be, like, 300 maybe. Right, right. All right, good duck. Keep it simple. Down one. Still my turn. And that string's the one that everybody's going to want to watch out for. Yeah. It's like the back 2-2. Two two. It's, it's the fastest mid. I think the character has like 18 frames or something. I think forward 4 maybe is a little bit faster. But you get a grab, uh, follow up off the string. It's like a true command grab. Or you get the low. So they yeah. do have to guess every single time that you do it. That's the low option off mm -hmm. of it. You just don't get really big damage off of either one unless you're using like Cyrax or Goro or right, something. Right. So uh, it's just little mix-ups here and there. All right, another Goro ball. Nice flawless block, actually. Ooh, what an interrupt with down 4. Oh, big launch in yeah. the corner. Oh. oh, a little bit early, didn't feel, I guess not feeling it at all, really. Yeah, I mean, again, the, the, the waiting is so weird combo-wise, yeah. so, like, you just got to take what you can get, especially if you have such a lead right here, you didn't want to oh, over-risk anything. That's going to be a nice conversion to full. Again, freeze into the armor, but oh, another drop Let's combo see. on both yeah, sides. Yeah. We're even now, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is the unblockable launcher, uh, and okay, armor's armor. through, but you can activate it again. It does hurt oh! you, that should be it. Uh, we could have just gone straight up into Fatal Blow. That's so scary to use the full combo, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Fatal Blow didn't come out, no! Oh, that's so rough, I see them shaking their head. Oh, no, five seconds left, the zoning's really good here. Weird trade on the roll. Oh, oh Down there's four. a chip. Oh, it's a <laughs> back, two, two, four, to take back the lead, no way. Both players getting a little messy in the end there, but uh, only one coming out on top. What a chip out, too, especially with three seconds left on the clock. Like, send it at that point. You're so close to taking the lead. 
definitely we ran into some spaghetti at the end, yeah. there, right? Like, we saw the drop combo from one player, then the drop combo from the other, and then the Fatal Blow didn't come out, and then just everything not looking mm. super solid. But hey, it's it's early in the morning, quote unquote, for gamers. Right. Uh, oh, nice full conversion. Again, unblockable launcher is available. There it is. It scales a lot, so you're going to be able to get a little bit of extra damage, and it costs two bars to be able to set that up. You have to hit with the EX roll, which yes. costs a lot of meter, but uh, already the life is huge. All right, keep zoning out here. Less armor in this game. I mean, honestly. All right, there we go. Yeah, Another a lot zoning. of patience. Really kept early swings to fully stop that approach there from Striker. Oh, there's the go. There's the command grab option. It is going to leave you in a range where you can dash up and like, yeah. just kind of meaty back to again. Uh, so we see a lot of looping of that as a like pressure option. Right now, though, just try to go for a little bit of shimmy. It did work out, and now he's going to get a lot of corner carry. Oh, nice duck. Oh, my goodness. With the interrupt there, nice pop-up as well. Immediate break, because you want to hold that corner position. So important. Well, yeah, especially in this matchup, right? Uh, yeah. The corner can be gigantic. You do not want to get out of there. But, of course, that does make the uh, the throw option off of the back to two string not as nice. But it's, if you're in the corner exactly like this, it's a really yeah. good option. You always want to be careful of that. But, yeah, the, the low is definitely coming right there. And one thing about Havoc, because these games take forever. Look at this. We're getting close to 10 seconds left. Right. I don't think we're guaranteed to kill anytime soon. Uh, we'll see the dance does begin. Yeah, and we're gonna see Striker armoring up quite a bit, but unfortunately rolls in, takes the risk. Yeah, that's a, uh, a big, big risk, of course, but it's really fast, right? Like, it's not really reactable in a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. If you're sitting there waiting for it, you can, but if they throw it, especially a projectile, it low profiles so much stuff, and so Striker on the board. I mean, hey, that was the last close last game. I want to see this one go yeah. to a game three for sure. I want to see the Havoc mirror of all Ooh. things. All right, another down one interrupt there to take out that armor. What a backdash. Oh, yeah. That, that, the spacing after that is really important. Yeah. Stru or I believe Havoc's the only character in the game that guarantees plus frames off of a jab string. No matter what you mm. do, there's no way to get out of it. Uh, so you do have to deal with that situation. You can kind of backdash the down one. That's what we were trying to see right there. But uh, it's just a weird pressure game. Oh, nice. Blocks in time. That's the thing. Ooh. The arm is good, but it's slow and nice yeah. pickup. Yeah, immediate break here. Want some space. Don't want to get too far away on this life lead. Look at this. We might be going to time again, honestly. Yeah. They're playing so patient. Nice tech. Wow. <laughs> we just can't get anybody getting <laughs> opened up here. That's another reason why we've seen a lot of players uh, kind of say Oof. that Havoc has some issues, is that when you're, the true mixes for Havoc are literally just off the back to do string. Aside from that, it's very much just strike throw. Right. Uh, nice pickup, though. They're, I mean, of course, they're playing at similar ranges here, so they're pretty comfortable doing what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, this grab option, it's working so, so oh. well. You can duck and punish it, but uh, then you get hit by the low. Yep. There we go. Should be able to finish it up. And does. Striker taking the game. Tying it up one all. All right. We did see, of course, this mirror as well earlier in, like, the bracket in top yeah, 24. Yes. We saw Parsa taking on uh, Beyond Toxin. So we, we're seeing just a lot of Havoc mirrors. If anybody wants to be Havoc and know how to fight Havoc, <laughs> definitely the tournament to watch. Does anyone want to be Havoc, really? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I do not think so. I think uh, there are definitely better ways. Yeah. I don't understand. This, why does this fool rip his head off and, like, his arms off, but, like, he gets his face burned one time and, like, he can't yeah. fix it? Why, it? why is that? I don't understand. Chapstick. You just need chapstick. That's true. That's true. Oh, well, there you go. Give him, give him a little hydration on those lips, right. for sure. Maybe not the kind that he wants, <laughs> but uh, it'll be something. Nice. Gets the armor through with the arm. Again, uh, this is two out of three, so winner of this goes on to fight Punk and winner's finals. Okay. Nice backdash. Had the armor, so it was going to remain safe on that one. Ooh, what an interrupt there. Yeah, the projectile, though, only, only, it's an interesting trait. It only mm -hmm. launches if it's already in a combo. So uh, that's why you're seeing, if anybody's confused out there, like some different interactions based on how the projectile hits exactly like that. That's yeah. when it's a launcher. It's just got like an identifier on it. Like, are we a combo already or not? And uh, then it launches <laughs> or doesn't. All right, try to steal a turn with that down one, but we got the throw. Nice job from Striker. All right, yeah, just going for the meaty back two this time. Mm -hmm. And then the low this time. And then some more swinging this time. All right, see, it's just it's just strike throw so much. Yeah, That's also, yeah, like yeah. I said, why sub zero is a big deal. But this is look like close to close out. Uh, we might get some guaranteed chip here pretty soon. We maybe need like one more hit nice. or just an anti air. One of the first true jumps and true anti airs we've seen. They're both so confident. But striker from being down a game is on match point now. All right, nice. Got the back two pick up. Ooh. All right, keep it locked down with the gore ball. Ooh. Down one, down yeah, one. Yeah, just keep interrupting. Down one, wait and fish for your turn, because that's the stagger game that you play in MK. Ooh! 
There. Really good. Yeah, very early breaker. I mean, your meter here is going to probably, most likely you're either going for breakers or you're going for uh, the, like, EX roll. And we haven't seen EX roll for really, like, the past game and a half. Right. Uh, it's very hard to find an opportunity to use it. It doesn't work in a lot of the normal combos, so yeah. you've got to find the weird situations. Breaker, it's always going to be worth it. Right. Throw. Yeah, the down ones are so good. Again, uh, the, the mids are really slow for this character. Right. So more vulnerable to down ones than a lot of people. I know that both of these two had a little, like, gimmick. They were going to bring up a sign that said, like, 18 frame mid or something like that. I don't think they actually <laughs> got a chance to do it. I'll ask them when they're done with the game. But uh, definitely the truth to that. All right, full screen situation here once again. Armored up. Giving Striker no chance. But, I mean, hey, you have the life leads. So you can play this distance game. You can wait it out. Plus Ooh, block. flawless block. That was scary. Yeah, that's uh, I, I wonder if maybe you can flawless block. I have learned that there are some strings that you can flawless block that change the frame data. Yeah. Uh, so maybe that is actually one of them, or maybe they're just trying to actually avoid the chips into the slow string. Yeah. But that's a launch that should be it. Yep, goes for all the meter. Nice. And Striker is moving on to winner's finals against Punk. Very nice. Yes. The full comeback, too. We've actually seen that a lot over the weekend from Striker. Losing the first game and then making a big comeback, either switching characters or just making an adaptation. It's been yeah. definitely kind of like a trait. I think it's really really important too in that first game striker did not like you know bear that burden of the messy situation at the end for too long just kind of moved on to that next game and still here's the result here like look that was last game we're in this game now yeah yeah so everybody's dropping yeah, everything everybody's on the stage dropping right everything. Uh, <laughs> not only combos yeah, but they're yeah. dropping <laughs> items on the stage they're dropping there was literally chapstick by the way which is pretty funny <laughs> uh, there was like a phone everything was just falling down but all right and so yes i mean obviously we knew this was going to happen one way or another but super unexpected if you were to look at it like yeah yesterday or the day before havoc in winners finals there was no way there couldn't be just the way they matched up so havoc versus ashra super interesting that's gonna be like a really heavy neutral game but before we get to that of course we're gonna have to go down to the loser bracket to the yes. hell bracket here at ceo taku uh where we've got a whole bunch of different other characters right so there are yes. uh, some other multiples there's only i believe one more set of multiples of characters and that's going to be uh baraka and so we're gonna get right, our first right, baraka right. player up here uh for the next match it's gonna be coach steve going up against a character that we just saw in in Havoc with, uh, uh, well, as far as I know, he's going to be playing Havoc, but that's yeah. going to be beyond Toxin. Uh, so the Baraka, definitely a, uh, a considered very, very strong right now. And look at that. Flexing the metal coming up. All right. That's always going to be a good flex, right? Yeah. You Don't know what? Me. Look at you this. Me the material. <laughs> Get this man off the stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Baraka, a solid pick as well, too, because you're looking at... Uh, a lot of the chip damage that Baraka can apply uh, can keep the opponent blocking the entire time as well. Mm -hmm. um, it, a two-touch character, right, we were talking about, simply because of that additional factor, right? You're still being able to pressure. If I don't open you up, I'm still doing significant amount of damage by chipping you away. Yeah, the chip is ridiculous. There is some counterplay to it. There's been some like some tech to it uh, that people have been really looking at because mm -hmm. it's been a character that's been doing well in a lot of tournaments, like especially like this weekend and like just a few days previous. But uh, I mean, just even if you have solid fundamentals, even without the chip, Baraka does so much damage. It's got great normals. Uh, you can just whiff punish and just play that way. You can play the strike throw game. Uh, has of course that back three that's like an armor breaking low because it's yeah. twice fast. One thing in this matchup that we're gonna look out for though for sure is that Havoc is one of the only characters that has. Uh, uh, like many hits of armor on an armored move. Mm -hmm. So the back three is not going to be like the go-to answer to break every single armored wake up. You can't guarantee yeah. that you can uh, like lock them into chip that way. But the reward off it's not going to be gigantic. So definitely some uh, some interesting stuff. Cyrox on both sides. We, that's very expected for Baraka. <laughs> and, uh, it, 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 that's what locks you down in that chip. But Havoc can get some other like pickups with Cyrax and kind of do some pressure of his own. Cool yeah. To see. yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how uh, Cyrax really uh, uh, supports Havoc in this matchup in particular. You know, I'm expecting a combo extension too, especially at the back forward four. Uh, that'll be helpful. Um, but also, yeah, same reason, because you're chipping away, it's more strike throw. Keep the opponent locked down. Keep your strings already safe, safer. Net is also probably going to be a really big deal, yeah. too, especially if uh, Coach Steve wants to throw fireballs against Havoc. Yeah, and Havoc gets a lot of more reward than usual off of that. Little yeah. fun fact, too, by the way, about Beyond Toxin. Uh, really well-known name in the right. Mortal Kombat scene for right. a long time, ever since he was honestly like a kid. Yes. And uh, he hasn't been able to come out to a major since, uh, I think, like early 2019. Exactly. So it's been a really long time. And he said, I don't even know what's going to happen this weekend. He was like, I'm just going to try my best. <laughs> Made it all the way back up to top eight. I know he was super happy. But now, fighting for his life against Coach Steve Ball, people already right. uh, a champion, right? I mean, too good. <laughs> I think you've done enough, okay? Why don't you relax? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, Gorball already got the space you're looking for. Nice down four. Uh, and here begins the chip. This is where it's going to start. Uh, now, there is some flawless block gaps in here where you can prevent some of this chip. Right. I think a lot of people just aren't used to the timing yet. It's really, really difficult. Flawless blocking is a really small window. Yeah. And I think it's often like the third hit of that special move. So uh, it's tough. It's tough. And if you mess up, you just get hit and you get comboed. So yep. uh, definitely maybe something to lab after this weekend. Right now, you can see Toxin just kind of holding on to it. Uh, and also, by the way, this is the matchup that Coach Steve lost in uh, the winner's bracket against Striker. So uh, right. maybe right. has right. gone through some labbing options. Yeah, I mean, flawless blocking seems so much tighter in this game than it did MK11. Of course, keep the pressure going. <laughs> oh, the armor, the arm <laughs> armored through uh, like four different things, but not quite enough. Or I guess it was three, I think. But uh, this is looking pretty even. Nice, the combo off of grab. You do put the mech in the corner too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to side switch that as far as I know, uh, unless somebody's found a better way to do it over the past few days, which is totally possible. But one more hit and Thompson's going down, but that might be the hit he needs. Hit a blow here just off the bat. Yep, yep, looks like it. Good pick up here. What a turnaround. Yeah, the, the Cyrax is, is looking like a really, really good option. Uh, it's tighter to get the combos, right? The Sub-Zero is going to be easier to get the freeze into the arm, but if you've got the timing down, it gives you plus frames and the ability to combo into the arm exactly like that and exactly the conversion that you needed uh, makes you a little bit safer. Cyrax is definitely going to be like one of the best cameos for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, nice. Got our knockdown. Trying to get closer to this right side of the screen here. Very important positioning for Coach Steve, especially you want to keep chipping away. Nice for helicopter. Ooh. Yeah, good recognition for Coach Steve. Not get caught by the armor. And Breaker to hold the position. Yeah, the, the Cyrax coverage is actually really good, too, because actually if you flawless block the uh, arm, I learned last night from a friend, uh, uh, Southern Paris, uh, you, it's unblock, or sorry, it's punishable on block. So mm. it, it's normally minus five, it's normally safe, but uh, the armor can be technically punished. So you got to make sure you're safe. Both these characters doing it in the same way, right? They can, you can yeah. launch off of it, or you can be unsafe. And I would choose launch, I think, and that's what Cyrax lets you do. <laughs> Yeah, launching is definitely going to be great because you get all that massive damage for these air combos, too. Especially even off juggle. Like, either way. Especially with Baraka, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, Baraka, one of the highest damage characters in the game. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, up there, for sure. Havoc, one of the lower ones. So, uh, you want to get as much damage as you can to make that gap as big as possible. And there we go. Going to do it off of grab. Going to do it off of strikes. Doesn't matter. Cyrax is there for you all the time. Cyrax yes. is your best friend. <laughs> All right, good defense here. Patience for Coach Steve. Finally get that gap opening. Keep pressuring there. You can't do it. Yeah, we, I saw a little head shake or head nod uh, from, from Toxin. Like, yep, all right, I can't armor right there. I think Toxin may be learning a little bit about this matchup, too. I yeah. know, too, when I was talking to him earlier, he was saying, I've only fought, like, like five good characters online, which is definitely, like, classic right now, right? Yeah, like, with yeah. five good players of characters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a lot of things that we're all learning on the fly, and uh, Toxin, I think, just from that moment, is like, okay, no more arm in that situation. Yeah. Uh, but still doing extremely well. I mean, still holding on to the lead. Didn't get the pickup. Can be weird for Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, Fireball War. Baraka will definitely win that one. Faster Fireball compared to Havoc. Oh, early. Nice meaty. Oh, the down one. That's huge. And this day plus with Cyrax. Just needs one more hit. But no, that's chipped. Yeah, that's chipped, chipped out. Yeah, I got the last breath. There was an attempt, but uh, really, we all need to learn how to flawless block as best as possible against yes. that because this is looking like such a good strategy. Uh, but still, very, very close game. Uh, just needed to not be in that situation, right? That 4-4. Four, four. So for anybody who doesn't know, that string that, that Coach Steve is doing is literally 4-4-4, uh, 4-4-4. Four, 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 <laughs> four, four, four. That's yeah. the string uh, into a special move. But it's the funniest, mashiest string in the entire like NRS history, and uh, it looks like Look it how is. good it is. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. 4-4-4, four, 4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Special cancel. With no extra input? Come on now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Baraka is just very easy to just kind of pick up and play, uh, especially with the way that Baraka wants to play by chipping out the opponent that way. Ooh. Oh, but, but that's throw out of the corner. Nice. Yeah, that's another huge advantage. One of the best armor moves in the game because you low profile and it goes really far and it's really fast. Mm -hmm. And Cyrax makes it plus, so every single thing is good about that. You can also confirm it, you don't hold down the Cyrax button, so you get the upswing, so it right. doesn't interrupt you if the armor hits. There's like a bunch of cool tech with it, but yes. uh, yeah, so uh, basically you always have to be careful of armor against Baraka. Well. Ooh. Nice reaction from Coach Steve early break. Yes, well, yep, there's that net nice. that I was talking about, yep. too, to contend with that fireball war. That's a trade he takes all day. Exactly like you said. Yeah, that was a great call. Oh, armor's through the armor. It said, that was a heavy <laughs> read. All right, that's chip. Yeah, almost definitely. Uh, there could have been a flawless block there, maybe, but even the follow-ups right there would have been hard to flawless block. Right. We're not in MK11's late life where everybody's flawless blocking everything. We've got <laughs> to learn all this still. 
Oh, yeah, a little wonky timing there with the helicopter. I mean, Cyrox can do that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, definitely more than sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Cyrax uh, has some weird, weird hitboxes, especially when you're going upwards. But honestly, no matter which way you use, uh, the the sometimes you get like thrown backwards, sometimes forwards. Yeah. Oh, nice jump on the grab! And uh, again, even without any sort of uh, cameos, you can see right here, almost 400 damage for one Good bar. God. And then look at that, an extra almost like 70 <laughs> for using the cameo, just for funsies. I'm going home playing Baraka. I'm sorry, I'm done. Oh, well, you know what? It would be a good pick, I think. We're going to see a little bit more of this in this top eight later, too. But the net coming out didn't catch the projectile this time. Really needed two toxins in a tough spot. Now match point for Coach Thieves. Out here working too hard with these other characters. Let me pick up Baraka real quick. Hold on. <laughs> no, Baraka is a great... Not that Baraka is not going to be great later yeah, on yeah, as well, yeah. but one amazing pick here. I was actually really complimenting Coach Steve after he bodied the crap out of me on the stream. I was, yeah. like, I was like, yo, your game plan is so solid. Like, you're so smart to act, like choose this as your, your early option. Like, right. it's, it's such a good pick, and, like, your fundamentals carry you so far on exactly. this. Exactly. Which, obviously, Steve is an amazing, uh, like, just fighting each other. Right. All right, fireball war begins, blocked out the net. No opportunity here for uh, Toxin to throw another one. Just the speed of fireballs from Baraka makes that so difficult. Yeah, and what right. we, yeah, we saw right there too, yeah, the, uh, the down one, and normally this game is like minus eight, but uh, the fast, one of the fastest mid specials in the game, the, the down forward two from Baraka. So we actually see a lot of people getting caught trying to press one to after down one, getting hit by like a full combo or a yeah. lot of chip at minimum, and then the plus frames from uh, Baraka. Yeah, there we go. Didn't spend the meter for the extension. Because probably could have killed off of that, honestly. Yeah, break it. That was still an amazing with punch. Just stand yeah. two in the fatal blow. Yeah, and that fatal blow is going to come back. So no resources technically spent. And now one hit Ooh, away. Out. Oh, no. Yeah, the bleed out such an important factor there. Unfortunate. Yeah, great stuff. Coach Steve moving on. Overcoming the matchup that knocked him into the loser's bracket. Yeah. Uh, I definitely had to go through some learning. And especially, I mean, hey, you're going to a top eight. There's three Havocs in top eight. Yeah. If you want to make it all the way through, the matchup I'm labbing is Havoc, right? You're going to match yeah. it. Lab Havoc, Lab Astra. And honestly, there's a chance you don't run into any of the others. Because yeah. uh, that is just literally what we're filled with. Especially the winner's bracket, too, being two Astras, two Havocs. And then your first round match being an, a Havoc. Like, literally, Coach Steve might only play those two characters today. <laughs> yeah, honestly, and it was surprising, too. After that throw from Toxin, I would have expected the meter spend to get that bounce off the throw. And then you could have extended, possibly even killed with that because you might have been able to get that fiddle ball timing because of how high that pop-up is to yeah. wrap that up. Yeah, possible, but again, it's so yeah, exactly. weird, it's right? So, like, uh, like, there's so many fast decisions you have to make in MK1, especially yeah. with timing for combos. It's so, like, the windows are very tight across the cast. Yes, yeah. yes. A lot of uh, a lot of really interesting pickups as well. Like, be, uh, like tighter than usual in NRS games. I'd yeah. say because of cameos, right? Yeah. Uh, so you like you have to make some like pre really quick preemptive decisions. And yes. uh, so far, we're, we're seeing some really good play, right? There's yes. there's a reason why we're seeing this. I do feel like a lot of these players are just really really good at like fundamentals. That's why we're seeing this interesting uh, like top eight characters. Right, like, right, right. Throughout other tournaments, we've seen a lot of uh, there's like a lot of characters like for example like Johnny Cage's that are doing well. Yeah. Uh, Lau's doing pretty well right oh, now. Wow, really well, yeah. Um, we're Raiden seeing, too. yeah, uh, yeah. Raiden's doing well. We only, we only Aztec was really repping Raiden here. Yeah. We saw, um, uh, I was gonna say Molina actually, a good amount of Molina, who is our only representative for Molina up on stage right now. That's gonna be Infinity, yes. uh, who uh, in uh, some nail biters managed to <laughs> make it out. So if anybody who doesn't know, by the way, after there was that uh, like disconnect yesterday from Blue Linkus uh, against Infinity, they did actually play off the match with a one round like deficit mm -hmm. off stream. It was very very clean in the favor of Infinity. Yeah. Uh, she was still looking really good so that wasn't the end of it even though that was kind of the end of it on stream there was some off stream right. stuff or like rulings and stuff so definitely earned and uh she's the uh, like only melina in only the top melina. 24 i want to say yeah. even i was trying to think back to everybody in top 24 hard to remember everybody there was a lot of people but uh but yeah making it out a really good showing yes and then zintai on the other side played a little bit of shang sung but also went back to baraka a little bit more comfortable there which got Zintai into this top eight, utilizing that Baraka, and it looks like we're still gonna stick with that, especially in this matchup here. Yeah, the strategy is going to be the exact same one that we just saw right. from Coach Steve. Uh, we saw earlier it was like mostly Shang, and then throughout the, the, the weekend it was like more Baraka, more Baraka, and at this point I think Zintai is like, Screw it, Baraka. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do this. Shang's a right. difficult character. We're, we'll save it for the next next tournament, right? Yes. Baraka works, it's easy. Uh, definitely has the game plan down. Uh, punishes really well, just in like certain situations. You don't have to worry about messing up too much. No, not at all. And 
And uh, it's the going to Molina, though. Uh, a character we haven't seen at all on, on right. broadcast, even though we've got a lot of repeats. Who, uh, we're going to see also the, the Serena for nice. the first time on broadcast, which is weird. Yeah, nice little pickup off roll, too. Great. It's just so easy to confirm when you have a Serena assist. Oh, and that actually ate through the armor. That's what I was talking about the other matchups. It's so important, but we just don't get to see it against Havoc in particular. Is that that back three eating, eating two hits. Uh, the armor mm -hmm. from Molina is the teleport, and it was just completely eaten there. Oh, no. Tried to get a pickup, but didn't get it. All right, nice pop up here. Might extend with Cyrax, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, weird fallout right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, very unfortunate. Not only getting out of the, or not only like losing the combo, but also out technically uh, losing the corner. Yeah. And by the way, so that that is how I lost against Infinity. That's the EXI. It's a follow up. Is an overhead. It always comes out. It's punishable on block, but it's an overhead, and everybody gets hit by it. Yikes! <laughs> Myself included, for sure. <laughs> All right, has to be patient. Double pizza approach here with more fireball play. I mean, so it's going to be difficult for Brock to play against Serena Fireball. Oh, so unfortunate. Again, we've all been there with Cyrax yeah. up helicopter. Yeah, the pickup is really weird. I mean, ideally, you try to put yourself in a situation where you're not getting punished for dropping it. But right. uh, that's a nice pickup. Just normal. Again, you really don't necessarily good. need Cyrax. You are going to see the full air combo. Boom. And yeah, you guys, the side switch again. Four set, 464, easy, easy damage. You know, one bar, one cameo meter. You build it back throughout the combo anyway. Who cares? Yes. Couple back 4 1 here to make the approach. Nice dash block from Zintan. More chip. More chip coming out. We're gonna start a new brand of chips for sure. Baraka chips. Oh, that's gonna be it. Yep, no chance for that one. I think no barbecue meter. flavor, maybe? <laughs> Definitely uh, a barbecue is good there. I think, um, <laughs> I think my friend out there actually is in the crowd. Brandon was saying that it would be uh, salt and vinegar because it's definitely Ooh, that's how you feel yes. after you lose to Baraka. Nice again though, the EXI follow up, and that does give the combo for the full conversion. Uh -oh. Great Oki, nice full combo with Serena. That's going to be a lot of damage. All right, nice roll through, keeping the same side. Nice to hold the corner. Good chunk of damage too. Oh, yeah, that's uh, maybe uh -oh. an understatement. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, 222 off a throw. That's right. just, that is definitely a lot. Didn't have to spend any bar for that. Gets the pick up again as well. And uh, then Cyrax one more time coming out. No more Cyrax, though. So there's not going to be chip strings coming off of this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can technically duck that. A uh, little bit risky, though, to do so because you cancel it to the special. But Cyrax finally coming back. So we're in a scary chip situation uh -oh. for Infinity. She's got to find a way out. Yeah, nice duck. All right, yeah, going to chip away. Four for four. Oh, the low oh, yeah. hitting. Oh, no. Definitely blocked the first hit, but wasn't uh, crouch blocking in time to get the second one. That definitely happens to a lot of people, especially two. I think early on, that back three looks a lot like an overhead because yeah. the Broca kind of like swings his leg up. little flicker kick. Yeah. So, um, or maybe just letting go of block. One way or another, it all just came down to that one yeah. hit right there. And uh, Infinity, I mean, keeping it close, but uh, just not able to get out of that corner. Yeah, Zintai making a really tight pickup off that one as well, too. Like, Perfect timing on that juggle because, again, juggling in this game is not as easy as it looks on stream at all. Yes, yes. Uh, there can be some really, really tough ones. Molina, as well, has some uh, really interesting combos. And if you drop them, you lose a lot of good Oki. Yeah. Kind of, kind of on both sides here, since both of these characters actually have great armor breakers. Boom. Another one. 448. Jesus Christ. Easy peasy. Uh, we do see actually, oh wow, okay, that was, I think, an attempt to uh, armor through, but we actually got the opposite teleport. I think that was the teleport yeah. that launches instead of the armored one. Maybe an input error, maybe a hard read, regardless, it didn't work out. All right, nice low fireball. Stop the forward approach. There we go, another duck. Meter spent on that uh, EXI, and unfortunately it doesn't connect, so not yeah. getting that mileage out of it. But it does go full screen, so that's, uh, I think, what the threat was there. That should be this round. It's going to be match yeah. point now for Zintai. Infinity stuck in the same position that she lost the last game. She's got to find a way out, but uh, way easier said than done. Ooh. Took the second hit right there. Big opportunity for Infinity. His damage is pretty oh, good for wow. Molina as well. You see, getting 334 yeah. with literally no bar. That's Infinity's playstyle. You can spend a little bit more meter for more damage, but I think she just likes to have the EX options. Oh no, gets clipped by back three again. All right, good grip. Air spin. 
easy peasy. Yeah. No meter spends and almost 400 damage. Baraka is oh such God. a monster. Yeah, yeah you got to break. break. But now you got to get out because there's no more meter left. You're out of resources. And honestly, almost one combo here is enough. But nice. Gets the full pickup. Gonna get the hard knockdown with the 4 4 again. Has the chance to mix. What's it gonna be? No! Oh. One, two, with. That might have been a delayed wake up. And the full conversion here. Not gonna be able to go to Fiddle Blow or yeah. anything. Oh, the whiff on the oh, grab. No. That's around. Unfortunate disaster there for Zintai, but a great blessing for Infinity here to last in this second game. Yeah, and we've actually seen Infinity with a lot of big comebacks over the weekend, too. I mean, even mm -hmm. uh, up against Blue Linkus, who won the first game uh, in that like match to get in the top eight, and then the second game went to Infinity just barely, and then, of course, that third weird tiebreaker game with the controller thing. But regardless, it was the comeback that made right. it even in that situation. And so Infinity, uh, definitely a good adaptation player, getting thrown out of the corner, huge life deficit, but at least the screen positioning in her favor. All right, the walk down. Woo! That walk from Baraka's. <laughs> the walk, uh, yeah, no, the walk down is, is so so scary because you know. Also, there's always a chance of the back forward three, like that, yeah. uh, like the, the blade charge. Every move is called something different. I think it's technically called chop chop in this game, but all oh, the overhead for the first time in the set drops the combo, Ooh. full combo punish, including Serena. Are we gonna see double oh, yeah. No, not even available. Nice Just reset. the restand. Like a reset throw in this corner. One combo away from victory for Infinity here, but save for Zintai. Oh, that should be oh. it. Zintai moving on. So many people getting caught that way over the weekend. I'm telling you, down ones are more minus in this game than they have been in literally over a decade yeah. in NRS games. <laughs> they are literally punishable in this game. And so every single time that a Baraka does a down one, everybody's like, I'm gonna press the button, and immediately you lose your entire life bar for pressing that button. That is one of the biggest advantages, is that we are all so in that like muscle memory mind space. Yes. And uh, definitely Zintai and Coach Steve both of them taking very good advantage of that over this yeah. weekend. Yeah, if you're taking a look at some of the, like, the early, like if this is your first NRS title, you're taking a look back at those early NRS games, like tutorials, how to like, how do I approach neutral? Like the down one mind game has always been at the forefront of these titles. And now this one, it changes ever so slightly, especially with the fact that Baraka could just absolutely demolish you for trying to interrupt that too. Yeah, anybody who's uh, who's at all been around any sort of Injustice 1, if anybody is familiar with the classic down one trident rush of, of days old, that's a very, very infamous situation where you would get 14-ish percent chip off of a down one, which most characters couldn't do at all or couldn't get big combos <laughs> off of it like that. Uh, this is this is trident rush, but like times 10. Yeah. Because you're getting a plus, you're getting tons of chip. If it hits, it's a full combo. Mm -hmm. uh, so realistically, I, I think we got to start looking at the comparisons between Baraka and Aquaman. <laughs> but Ra Aquaman. Oh, I, I don't know why I haven't thought of that Barack. yet. But uh, speaking of Barack Aquaman, hey, we're, we might, we're gonna see another. We're gonna see another. We've got like three characters left in this topic. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, and it's fascinating because again, like very early on in the the game's life, which is still pretty early, one week out. Yeah. Sindel and Serena was like the go-to. We had like three Sindel Serenas in the first uh, uh, TNS bracket yep. for MK1, and the fact that we're not in that, like the the NRS curse, right, of just. The early era of the game is usually heavy zoning, and then we evolve after that. And now it's just very much turned into, here's this defensive game. We're constantly going for strike, throw, or chipping away at the opponent's health. We're starting to get used to these patterns here. But uh, yeah, Baraka coming back. We'll see what full auto picks, because again, speaking of the zoning mastery, full auto was Sindel. Yeah, one of those players that was in the early DNS with yep. Sindel, like yep. quite literally. Yep. So a perfect comparison. And the Sindel was looking really, really good. Uh, I definitely get the Astro pick, um, but now this is a scary situation where there's two really good picks you could use, and you kind of got to decide like which one's going to be my go-to. And you're so early in the game that you don't have like a solid like, oh yeah, like I just should go this in this situation. You're like, am I just slightly ahead with my Astra? Am I slightly ahead with my uh, Sindel? Like, and then you end up regretting it. It's like a tough mental spot to be yeah, in. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I got worried for a second. I saw Natar still hanging I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get through this butt check here. Who likes Coach Steve? I, okay, just a little bit. Who likes Coach Steve? Someone scream for me because I can't. All right, but what about full auto? No one for full auto? 
Bro, where, where, where's like, where's where like Alcatraz, Too Easy? Are they all right? sleep still? What's going Yo. on with all the OD guys? That's ridiculous. I'll, I'll cheer for full auto. I'll cheer for full auto. No, I appreciate, I'm appreciate it. I like both these players. <laughs> these two are both super OGs. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, they've yeah. been both around for such a long time. Uh, of course, not just in the NRS scene as well. Coach Steve, you know, through a million different games. I even know Coach Steve through like poking, poking tournaments, stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> That's no, right. these I forgot two. about the poking era. Yeah, man. Poking still, uh, we got the Cavs out there. Right. Even in Jabali land. It's pretty uh, sick. That's crazy. Crazy. Uh, original could, Japanese cats. Oh, nice. That's hard. That's hard to come by. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I completely Sorry. forgot about the poking Coach Steve era. I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> no, this man's too good. This, yeah. this is, uh, there's definitely like a subset yeah, of players that are just too good at every single fighting mm -hmm. game. And uh, Coach Steve uh, may or may not be flexing that, that medal. Like, like you were saying, though, <laughs> one of the sickest medals I've ever seen in a match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a very difficult skill to have to be able to master multiple fighting games. Like, very few even do it. Yeah, yeah, like you get even one, obviously. <laughs> if you can even get one, right? Like, uh, if you can do well in multiple. And I think, I think, uh, Coach Steve in multiple top eights this weekend. Uh, yes, uh, at Marvel, least two, maybe probably, three. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't fallen off, but right now, doing a great job of showing exactly why. Uh, getting the full oh four. God. 83 to start things off, Baraka. So gross. No shot. All right. Thank goodness you were able to stay safe for that one, though. With the falling button after blocks the overhead. Nothing big off the counter hit though. But this oh. one will be huge. Oh no, actually didn't. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe Starks is just barely not available to uh, get any sort of like pick up or extra aggression right. right there. Or maybe maybe Coach Steve just wanted to say said, hey, I, you know I've got an eighty percent life lead. I'm just gonna take this knockdown down and I'm just gonna chip afterwards, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Which makes sense as well. It's kind of a win win situation uh, right now. With the Brock looking like it's just doing such a good job in this matchup, playing in a lot of ranges that I think Ashra wants to play in as well. But right. every single time you block Baraka, you're taking way more than when you're blocking Ashra. Oh, and the overhead, the big overhead. That's the 4-3 that we actually didn't yeah. see almost at all in that previous set. Uh, it's really, really scary, very fast, and you can do Boom. some really weird mix-ups off it as well. Oh, jeez. What a block. I mean, what a send, too, from Coach Steve, especially after this live deficit. Yeah, uh, nice just little follow-up, too, as well, just going for that mid-string. Uh, it looked like Coach Steve at the end there was, like, taking a few risks, saying, okay, well, you know what, I'll make a comeback if I can, like, jump out, get a combo or something like that. Right. But, uh, didn't end up finding that and said, okay, you know what, well, it's fine. We'll go to game three. Or round three, sorry. All right, we'll take to the skies. Nice, bring it back down. Ooh, what a wake up. Yeah, a great wake up as well. I believe that's one of the only uh, like non havoc wake ups in the game that actually has multiple <laughs> hits of armor. Uh, maybe the only one. So uh, that's gonna be able to get out of some situations that you normally wouldn't be able to. Right. I've, I've been wondering if this can get out of some of the uh, guaranteed chip situations, but we'll see if we uh, see Full Auto try to do that. He's gonna use the Sonya leg grab instead, and then double Sonya in one combo to get almost 400 damage. Okay. All right, another Cyrax pickup. Huge damage opportunity. Takes only the 230, though. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, though, the multiple hits of armor, yeah. uh, I think, is really important. I, I don't know if it actually absorbs multiple hits or if it was just out of there in time, but getting out, making the win. And so the full auto uh, trying to get back up into yes. that grant, trying to get that rematch up against Punk. Doing a good job so far. Taking a moment here. I mean, honestly, Coach Steve seemed pretty well in control that first round, but once we lost that corner, full auto just took complete control, especially with that support from Sonya, too, which is so unique. Yeah, it's, uh, we've seen almost nobody using Sonya over the weekend. Oh, no, could have landed with a jump attack. Probably thought that was going to go some other different way. Yeah. Uh, definitely a weird, confusing move. Like I said, it hits, goes in a weird direction. Nice pick up. Yeah, full auto definitely has a read on Coach Steve's tendencies, especially on wake up. Okay, going into the dark mode, so that's going to, yeah, the, the dash is going to become teleport, and then the projectiles are going to become like a ground hit projectile. Oh, we actually haven't seen too much of the, either projectile on the side of full auto. Also, any specials that hit are going to uh, add these marks that are going to increase damage later. Uh, but we're not even going to see that. We're just going to see the normal pickups. Who needs extra damage? Yes. We got Sonya. Right, oh. Nice, time back three pickup. Overhead does connect. Yeah, the overhead in the middle of that string catches a lot of people just because it's a little bit weird to be in the middle of the string. Yeah. Uh, and also, down four into the up slash. That's very Baraka, right? We've seen uh, Baraka <laughs> down one in a special, down four in a special instead from Astro. It's kind of a uh, uh, taste of your own medicine type situation. Right. right nice throw. Full extension here. Let's carry to the corner or mid screen. Either way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, the, the weird way that that hits. Yeah. I almost want them to like change how that works and stop doing that weird backwards yeah, hit. Yeah, it yeah. just feels bad, but nice pickup. Oh, did the side switch option off the ender? Maybe an accident. Uh, definitely could have held the corner right there. You hold down to get the side switch. You just don't mm -hmm. hold down to get the normal way. That's the hold down when you go through them and uh, manage to get back to the corner regardless. Right. Oh, opened up. Unfortunately, had to spend the breaker there to stay alive. Oh. Nice. <laughs> no chances on this one. No, We're just going yet. straight in. I'm not going to give you any chance to build meter. Uh, and we are just going to go to a round three. That might be just a little bit the coach Steve needs, though, to get back on board. Obviously, there's no chance of a breaker, but uh, you don't really get as many opportunities to fatal blow in this game as right. you get in maybe like Mortal Kombat 11 or uh, I don't know, some other games that have these like last health uh, type supers. Right. So you just use it when you can, even if it's earlier on in the set. We're down one, nice, got her throw. There we go. That one was the corner carry one. If that's yes. what size, that would have been really unfortunate, but uh, so tragic. Yeah, we managed to make it happen. Yeah, nice uh, recognition there from full auto that that was a weird Cyrex kind of whiff at the end. And so we did see the uh, challenge back with the down one, managed to steal the corner back, and uh, is now going to be able to just play a little bit more of the range game. Uh, you can zone really well with these zoning cameos, especially combined with yeah. the fact that uh, we've got a high projectile and the low uh, option off of the projectile from the dark form. But right now, it's not going to matter. Big combo from Coach Steve. Oh, no. Yeah, would have been big. Yeah, would have been big. That should have been a little bit better. But Coach Steve still has a minor life lead. Nice shutdown with back 4-1. Huge jumping off the jump, too. And this is going to potentially be chip. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. What? It in the down what? One, four, three. What? It's a fatal blow. That should be enough. No. What a painful way to go down. I think this is more than enough. Yeah, one hit of scaling. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I over. Uh, I mean, oh, no, 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 no. It was. It was. <laughs> no, all right. The actual one, it's troll, man. It's troll. It's all the wing hits, but that's rough. The pressure was good, but a stand two got down one under instead of just doing like down one and a down forward two, maybe. Regardless, a good showing from Coach Steve. And we're going to see the Ashras continue. And uh, we're going to see another Astra later in Grand Finals. So that, we'll see. Astra Mirror. That is just such a heartbreaker because, honestly, that was very much Coach Steve's game for yeah. that chip. Just one input error away from victory. Yeah, there were like a few different options that maybe could have worked there. Was just trying to go for the fastest option with the standing two. Maybe even like tried to do like down one into like down forward two and got it like yeah. a little bit too fast or something. But uh, I mean, it was a great challenge right there. It was a, obviously like it shouldn't work, the, the challenge that we saw Falado do, but you're literally dead if you don't try it. So try it, right? Like, right. Play to your outs. It's like a smart thing to do in fighting games. We're used to a lot of checkmate situations in NRS games and full auto for sure, uh, a veteran of this uh, genre and this uh, <laughs> sub-genre is like, I'm just, screw it. I'm matching. Yeah. I'm matching. Why not at this point? Absolutely. I mean, so often you look for those micro gaps in between strings where down one might be that option to get the interrupt, and that is the one opportunity you have to get the opener to push out of the corner. And, of course, you're going to check those situations there because you have to. Like you said, do or die if you don't. Yeah, so if you, it's, it's like die or die, ideally. Uh, yeah, if they're playing yeah, yeah. optimally, it's die or die. But one of the dies, there's like a slight shining light behind it. Regardless, yes. though, uh, we're moving on to another Baraka. So we're getting a lot of Baraka action. The last Baraka now in the uh, bracket, Zintai. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see if it is the Baraka. There's a chance, I think, of all of the matches that we might start seeing the Shang uh, to be able to kind of try and zone out some Havocs. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe we'll just see the Baraka. It's a solid choice still, regardless of the matchup. Yes, indeed. Ooh. All right. Yeah, so Baraka being that solid choice. Again, just the consistency of damage out of that character alone. Astra as well, too. So consistent with her routing. Very simple to confirm off of, too. Uh, especially when we look at that stagger. We haven't seen too much of the stab staggering uh, as well uh, from Astra. It's usually been just solid hit confirms into air combo, or at least uh, extending with Cyrax. We've seen a couple times as well, too. So. Yeah, that's the coolest thing about Mortal Kombat 1 so far to me is that there's so many different ways mm -hmm. that people can play. Like, even uh, the fact that we've got three different Havocs up here, we've got some very different Havoc players. Uh, we saw how, yeah, how different we could uh, we could see, especially with, like, Beyond Toxin and how he was playing uh, Havoc. Right. Uh, the mirror obviously was a little bit weird because they're just going to be playing the exact yes. same ranges, but, uh, like, the choices on how you, like, what cameos you use, what you spend your meter on, yeah. everything is just so, like, uh, like player expression in this game. Exactly. Especially this early on too like we're all really exploring stream, trying to see what's the most optimal mm -hmm. as we slowly figure out the most primo play of Mortal Kombat out there for MK1 
Yeah, there's a lot to learn. We are still so early on, but uh, right now they're just going through the little button check. We yep. can kind of guess that it's probably going to be what they're choosing. The Sub-Zero was working really, really well uh, yeah. earlier in, I mean, pretty much every single matchup. I was talking earlier about how good it is for Havoc. You right. Extra damage, the life. Also, side note, Havoc has the highest life in the game type of General Shao, who we never see yet. Uh, and so Sub-Zero mm -hmm. plus Havoc is the almost the highest combo that you can have. Only Jax right. plus Havoc is higher. Uh, so 1150 life. That is going to give you a lot of extra leeway. It's going to be oh, either, uh, let's see, with Cyrax, I think that's 150 life higher than what Zintai is going to be having. All right. Your chaos is even worse than Tarkat. Since when is freedom a disease? <laughs> Yo, if, if you uh, if you can count how many times Havoc talks about freedom, Havoc loves freedom and that's, anarchy. That's why here, you know, we've, there's a, there's a major happening in the EU today, uh, and there's there's one happening in NA, and the NA one we got all the Havocs because we love freedom here, you know. It's all about freedom, uh, but there, we're definitely seeing a lot of Havocs. Yes. Nice. Uh, able to steal the cornerback. That's going to be a big advantage. No Cyrax there. That may have been an input error to knock at the Cyrax. Right. For sure, I thought we were going to see that. Our big extension here, thanks to the freeze. Throw, okay. Keep you guessing. Oh, yeah. Oh, just backing up. That's Ooh. an interesting choice, but that, that's why. That was a good back step right there. Yeah, the back two, while it's a little bit more slow of a mid, it is a really good normal. Also, that down four that we're seeing, some of the normals are really long range. I'm surprised we're not seeing more of the Havocs use forward four as well. I think it's even almost longer than uh, the back two, or at least like similar range, and it's a low, but right now, this is entirely just neutral. Right. There is nothing yeah. but neutral here. That's such an interesting thing, too, especially with how dash canceling works in this game now, too. Uh, you can get some excellent whip punishes because you can input that normal mid-dash animation to cancel it out. And it's so cool how you can play this footsie game. Yeah, I mean, I want to give a big shout out to the NRS devs because honestly, oh that first stress test, you know, I was I was no, no not uh, hiding it. I thought it felt really bad to move, and uh, mm. it feels really good to move now. So yeah. they listen to so much player feedback, and I highly appreciate that because yeah. I think it's some of my favorite movement in an NRS game, maybe ever, or uh, close to at least. Definitely MK9 close-ish. Okay. Uh, but, oh, nice. Oh, ducks the grab. Good read right there. The grab is a risky option, but uh, it can, of course, mix people up. And the next time you have a game on the low, again oh, no. and again and okay. again and again. How many times can the low hit? You don't get One anything more. off of it, but, oh, yeah, I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it go all the way. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it until you block. That is the mix-up. It's a real mix-up, too. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, as far as I can tell, it's not, like, super fuzzyable or... Uh, I mean, hey, it's still early on. There's definitely a chance there's like a few frames that you get really good at, but that's going to be game one for sure for Barca, who didn't do anything fancy. And I say that in the most complimentary way possible. That was entirely neutral, fundamentals, footsies, whiff punishes, everything that you want to see. Nothing, nothing like, like, I don't know, like a sissy about it, right? Like it's so different from what we've seen before, and I love it. Yeah, you weren't being too much of a bully with your assist. <laughs> Yeah, just, just just using it for some coverage, you know? Yep, like, hey, yep, yep. sub, give me a nice little hug, protect me from these projectiles. Boom. Back All right, nice back. side swap, very good call there. Will win out on the Fireball War for Zintai here. I will say, though, Zintai has not been going to the chip nearly as much. Like, once yeah. we've seen him get in, it feels like he's just not going for it. He's yeah. been ending his strings. It almost feels like we haven't seen Cyrax at all, though. There's Cyrax, but <laughs> nice to see you at least a little bit. Right. Uh, the meter built, though, is so big just because there's been so much running away. That's a punish. No, oh. didn't get the full combo. Right, good throw. What was that? The, why was that off screen? Sometimes it happens. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why forward throw does that sometimes. It just does. Censored. Censored. Oh, uh, true, true, true. We're not allowed to see Cyrax. Okay, no, that was not the EX version, so we're not going to give you unblock the launch of the roll. But the, the roll is just a nice little ender if you can't get down back four. And uh, we're staying pretty even with life. Finally, we're going to start seeing some of the chip come out. But yeah, not quite timed correctly. So Parsa being very, very smart, realizing there was an opportunity down one there. Ooh, good whip punish here from Parsa. Great awareness. Yeah, making sure that uh, I've, I've, there's a lot of delayed wake-up situations as well. Right. Not sure if exactly that was it, uh, but you can just make people whip a lot of their Oki on wake-up. Right, delay. right, right, true. Oh, the weird train and just jumping nice. out, getting the grab. That might be enough with sub. No, chip situation. Eight seconds oh. left, has to try to go for the Hail Mary here because there's no shot to make this back. 
Yeah, you had to pause block that, and the timing is so weird. <laughs> Laughing at that, like, yeah, I tried, we do. I tried. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's weird because it circles around you, so you, you, you tend to try to pause block that a little bit early. Yeah. I've been in that situation a million times uh, against my friend Jesse, who's been playing this character a lot. Nice. Uh, but yeah, this is now match point for Parsa. Trying to move even further forward. Also trying to make it all the way back. Ooh. That's the back fireball as well. 368. Goodness gracious. Throw tech. Oh, nice. Just the full dash forward. And uh, didn't even uh, try to get too much of like a kick and throw on that. Oh, oh no. Cyrax, where, where yeah. are you going? Very <laughs> early summon on that one there. Otherwise, we wanted to go for the forward helicopter. But uh, yeah, that's tough for Zentai here. Cyrax partying a little too hard this weekend. Off screen <laughs> grabs. Uh, the helicopter is just completely whiffing in the wrong direction. Oh, the trade. And okay, gonna get another opportunity here, uh, but needs to just hold on to this offense over and over. And again, the back three is not gonna be enough to stop the uh, the arm armor. The down four though, that's gonna be all it takes. And we're seeing Havix stay in this bracket. That's now gonna be both of our Barakas gone. Who'd have thought havoc causing havoc? Wait a minute. <laughs> Definitely a lot of havoc here, uh, literally and figuratively. And I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the karaoke uh, out in the, the, the <laughs> lobby area. I don't know. Jamaica <laughs> Land, I guess, it technically is. Uh, that's pretty pretty wild all night. But uh, yes, good stuff. Are we going to winners finals now? I'm yeah, curious. we're already yeah, yeah. at winners finals here. We're going to get uh, Striker and Punk coming up here in just a moment. But yeah, I mean, what a showing of MK1. Just a week's time for this game. We've explored so much and learned so much this past weekend and throughout the week here. Uh, but before we get to that winner's finals, we're going to take a bit of a break because you know what? I'm already losing it right now. You know, I have to recover for a little bit here. So don't go away. We'll be right back with more MK1 action. And welcome back, everybody. We are here. We are down to our final few players for Mortal Kombat 1 at CEO Taku 2023. I am Wonder Chef, joined by Zero, and we are getting really close to the end here. So close to finding out who is our first Mortal Kombat 1 champion a week in and already so much high-quality MK play that we're seeing today. We're going to take a look at this bracket to look at the path that we have taken to get to this Heavens Finals. 2-1 for Punk to get here over full auto, and then 2-1 from Striker over Parsap to get here. Yeah, and we, we had over 130 entrants for Mortal Kombat yeah. here. A huge, huge tournament. The biggest offline for sure so far for the game. And we're down to just four. So this is going to be winner's finals, heaven's finals. I got to correct myself here. Oh, it's called Ultima Final? Okay, that's sick. That's actually <laughs> super sick. But uh, heaven's final here is going to be three out of five, I believe, just because now we are closer to the end. The only match that's left that's going to be two out of three is going to be the Parsa versus Full Auto match that's later on. But Punk versus Striker, and I feel like striker is uh well okay honestly this is i would say this is surprising overall for uh just who people would have expected seeing who was right. here right yeah. there were great players there was there was forever king there was infinity yeah uh, we have beyond talks and very legendary player there's uh honestly there was just a, a million amazing players i mean coach steve was obviously in yeah. the top eight there's there's a lot of them that didn't make top eight that i'm not thinking of right now but uh strikers put on such an amazing showing and yes. then punk of course who always has a great chance at the start of any single game but there's always like will punk be like like the killer like just right at the start or like maybe not maybe the, yes the build up, right? i don't know yeah. why we ever doubt it well yeah i mean honestly striker as we all know has had like such a come up in yeah, towards the end of mk11 and hit the ground running here in mk1 uh but yeah for punk to also pick this game up too we've seen punk exploring in uh guilty gear and also getting a solid stride there um, and a little bit of Dragon Ball Fighters too, right? And I almost feel like some of that kind of translated here, especially when you think about the assist system. But the unique thing about Punk's play is that it's not so assist heavy, it's neutral heavy which is akin to how he plays anyways. Yeah, we're actually seeing a whole lot of neutral in this top eight. I mean, yeah. for all of the Havocs, they're pretty basically only get to play neutral. Uh, the Barakas, they play neutral in the chip. The uh, the Ashras, they've, they've been playing a lot of neutral. We haven't seen as much mix, uh, right. like unsafe game out of them, even though technically, I think we could have seen a little bit more from Full Auto, who still right. has a chance. So really, it's just been neutral, 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 neutral. And uh, <laughs> this is the, the story of early on, right? The fundamentals, yes. they carry through when you're playing a style this way. The more 
more specific setups. They're going to come a little later. This is still week one, but uh, we're definitely going back to neutral neutral. We've seen that the Havoc players are so good with that back too, but can it beat a sword normal? That's the question. Yeah, that's true. The range from Astra is going to be the challenge here against Havoc, especially with all this forward advancing normals that Havoc has in this set. And a, a big, big issue here is that that is a great mid. That is a great fast start of mid for yep. challenging in the up close game, that forward four string from Astra. And uh, you just don't have nice that as tap. Havoc. You just don't have anything like that. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> all right. The first forward two. Yeah. That's a great large, large draw, but it's high. So you can duck it on a really strong read. And already that's looking like a really strong read. Yeah, absolutely. Down one interrupt there. There's some mid. No overhead follow up here. So we get the interrupt opportunity. But take to the skies. A big start for Punk. Oh, that, that always looks like you get hit because yeah. it's, it's havoc. And, you, you know, it's like, oh, he just happens to break his neck as he's second your throw. Uh, but, oh, nice tech on both sides. Yo, relax. Nobody can grab here. Oh, the max range. Oh. Two, one into the full conversion with the light projectile. That's sick. All right. And there's the Oki setup as well. Very rare from Punk considering the last set that we saw. Oh, that one's not ducked. All right, because right. that's a block. Uh, is this Baraka going for chip? Nice. Choose the block right there. Maybe he could have armed through, but that might be a gimmick save for a little bit later. Mm. Oh, the grab whip punished by a grab. Not necessarily punished, but the respect was there. And the forward grab to make sure it did enough damage. Uh, every back grab in the game does 110, and every forward is based on the cameo. So sub doing 130, second highest in the game. Very, very smart to go forward grab right there. Nice. Oh, wow. What a get up attack. Staggering this time around. Keep you guessing with the overhead. Oh no, you cannot reversal grab right there. It's just Ooh. not working. Oh, actually catch a sub as well. So the armor's gone. The projectiles are going to be an option now. Uh, we'll see if we actually see them from full screen. There's time yep. to even throw them out. Pretty slow uh -oh. startup, but nice. Follows up the projectile with the back two from Havoc. And this is going to be the full launch with the arm. All right, there goes the spew. Already set up here. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no armor right there either. I think uh, the back forward two is the only thing Astra could use to get out of that, right? Uh, yeah, you, you really have to make the read, but even then, sometimes yeah. if you try to so armor hard. out, you just get blocked if they don't yep. activate it immediately, and then you eat full combo, and it's still Ooh. on. So it's all about the mind game. Nice yeah. pickup air to air. That's going to be a good amount of damage. Gets the Oki from the down hold, but all the arm! All the armor in the world! Armor. We're definitely going to have to figure out how to like make a joke out of that. But game one, and the three out of five going to Striker. Wow. Yeah, I mean, excellent play so far here, especially too. Like, Punk had a solid game plan in that first game, but uh, I'm curious because we're seeing more armor from Striker uh, being set up by Sub Zero. We're not really getting a lot of fireball game from Punk. Yeah, uh, not at all. Now, uh, the firewall game is a little bit different, of course, from Astra. Light mode, you use it more so as like this plus frames to guarantee. Right. It's so hard to jump over. It's so hard to get past. It's this big. Uh, I mean, honestly, I made a joke about it earlier on Twitter, but it's Annie uh, of the Stars projectile from Skullgirls, which is a very unique little projectile. Uh -huh. But we're not seeing that used as like a mid range option. No. Instead, Punk's just going for options that are maybe trying to be a little bit more footsies oriented. Right. Yeah, probably wants to try to save some of that assist meter as well instead of just spending it on that armor because I mean, you're looking at combo extension possibilities there with uh, Reese and Sub Zero here. But now he's stuck in this corner. The missile set up as well. Keep sacking pressure in there. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, a little bit of a pickup, but uh, we got to be worried about chip here. We've seen some little chip setups with the the, uh, the sector up missile from Punk before, and uh, this time it's not even going to matter. Just an easy conversion. Also, the best uh, like string carry conversion could have right. gone like three different ways there, but it was the smartest way to kill. Oh, jeez, what an interrupt! Especially with the pickup from uh, Sector's uppercut. That's a very difficult string to be able to pick up after. Punk, so you said, oh, yeah, well, good recognition. <laughs> yeah, say, wait a minute, whoa, relax. There we go. I do like that. So, from that range, that projectile, by the way, is like plus like 20 on block, or like 15 or something like that. Mm -hmm. More than enough to go up and say, hey, you just have to deal with whatever I'm doing. Right. Uh, and a lot of times it is that high, so there is the guess with the duck, but I like seeing a little bit more of those projectiles in mid range. Ooh, Ooh yeah, big pickup here. Uh, I like that break. Just to stop the Oki, keep the life speed slightly, or maybe actually just below. Indeed. All right, keep pressuring back into the court. What a stand-up interrupt. Coolest grab in the game, by the way. <laughs> Man, I know. Pretty, pretty free IMO. Ah. Oh, the armor again. Oh, just one more hit. It all it needs the mix-up. Nice blocks. Good Ooh. patience. Attack again. Neither of these characters players being thrown. Perfect spacing to avoid the cold shoulder. All right, we got to find that one moment to thread the needle. And, of course, going for the down for the duck. 
the high from the sword. Yeah, well, hitbox and speed wise, one of the best down fours in the game. Mm -hmm. It's also more minus than usual, but uh, that's just kind of one of the, the uh, options that you take off of it. Right. Nice, that's probably the reason why we haven't seen as many of the projectiles is that we finally saw a projectile and then the armor had to come out from the, uh, or the frost armor from Sub Zero. But yeah. at least again, then there's a little bit less cameo meter from Sub Zero. Gets the full conversion. You have to go for the down option there when you're dark form. Otherwise, it doesn't even hit at all. And uh, Punk definitely knowing that. But also, it's great Oki, so it just works. Yeah. Trying to the pick up here. Full follow up. It's a little bit of a side swap, but we still get that missile Oki as well. Ooh! Really nice duck. Has to make a huge comeback here. Yeah. Not the easiest thing in the world for Havoc. There is two bars. It is spent. That's going to set up the unblockable launcher. But now what's the mind game off it? Oh, wakes up a standing 2-1. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be not a huge damage. Oh, no, especially if it's dropped. That's really unfortunate. Oh. That should be the game. Wait, wait. No, that did less damage than I thought it was okay. going to. Regardless, go. chip one a piece. Close call right there. Again, one of those blunders from Striker that happened in the last set here. Uh, when Striker was up on stage and uh, you know again we saw that quick recovery right like all right water on a duck's back Let's move on go into the next game. Just clean it up after yeah, that was a really unfortunate drop, lost the Oki, but yeah. uh, just got to keep moving forward again. So you got a five, so nothing's on the line yet. Oh, yep. no! Tried to punish the uh, the four three, but that's the mining off that. There's a few different things you can cancel into. It doesn't look like you'd be able to, but it's a ground normal, and you can special cancel. Right, it. So right. Uh, just went straight up into the uppercut, just in case it hit, and uh, you know what? One of those two things hit. Oh, nice throw after the overhand. All right, side swap. Hold the east side of the screen here as well, too. A little less walking that uh, Striker needs to do, but Punk fighting back. Losing out a missile Oki though, because it already happened. Yeah, just making sure that it was safe in case it was blocked. Right. And, uh, at that point, it was a little bit more of a win more situation. Uh, it's interesting that Punk is uh, the sector user that uses the missiles the least. Yeah. Uh, they are really good, but uh, we just don't see it as much. It's just like, hey, we'll just cover myself a little bit when I need to, and I'll use the uppercut as a ranged option. But uh, obviously nice. doing quite well, and using the uppercut perfectly right there to get a conversion you might not have gotten otherwise. All right, keep chipping away here. Oh, what an interrupt. With the stagger after as well, take to the skies. That's the runner. 14, yeah, me, uh, one bar as well. So not a ton of resources spent, didn't have to use sector at all. Oh, that's being a sector. Bar. Yeah, probably wanted a dash cast to get that poke to further extend that string. Oh, the grab. You can't pick up off of that with Sector unless you preemptively call Sector. Some characters can pick up that really well, but we're one hit away here pretty easily from Pump. Right. And maybe even just Chip. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, you Woo! had to try something. I don't know if there was a good option there. Maybe yeah. just Wallace blocking, but uh, now Punk up, looking to go into Grand Ultima Finals. That's right, Ultima Finals. It's 2-1, two, two, one. just needs one more game. Striker is doing a good job, but definitely you can see is like uh, losing a little bit of that momentum. Uh, just needs to kind of figure out those little, right. little bits here and there. Definitely been a few too many drops, but uh, we are getting a little bit later into this bracket. So we'll see what they can do as it's going to be an early lead with that sub-zero grab, but a great pickup again with that forward oh, two. Missed the extension after the fact, but here we go. Down back three. Nice delay to get the extension into the corner. Ooh, I love the jump. That, Great record. I'm not dealing with armor at all. I'll that, punish. That was the best option to make it with of all time and the yeah. worst punish of all time. Just straight up jab. <laughs> like, probably trying to do something else. But I mean, the grab yeah, afterwards yeah, yeah. worked, obviously. But it was just so funny to see, like, the best framed option into, like, the just the jab. Like, good job, but. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh no, the standing nice. two ones are hitting from max range. That is a high as well, so you can duck that hit as far as I know and uh, make it with, try to get the punish, but that's not what's happening here. What's happening here is Punk is on match point. Punk might be looking to be our first champion. Uh, still, of course, there's going to be Ultima Grand Finals after mm -hmm. this, but uh, just holding so much momentum. Oh, nice. Had the interrupt on the high. Good enough, got the spacing. Armored up, but down three interrupts. There's the projectiles. Yeah, again, like if you can get sub out of there, the next hit will probably do a lot less damage. And then you can just stop throwing projectiles, right? Mm. Oh, the whiff punish standing 2-1 yeah. again. Again, that's the move that crumples. It's going to get the full combo. Yep. You had to break right there. Oh, this is starting to look scary. Strikers out of resources. Even subs, only one call left. Right, there we go. Another armor set up here. I walked into it, unfortunate here. But an excellent pickup for Striker. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice combo, but again, the fact that Punk has made uh, Striker use a lot of that Sub-Zero meter to get rid of the projectiles meant that these combos aren't as much. This one's going to be really big yeah. because finally it came back, but it would have been death, I think, at this point if that had not been the condition. All right, out of the corner. Good throw. 
Trying to go for overhead, <laughs> but down two. Keep it simple. Definitely keep it simple. That is uh, that is just all you're going to go for, especially that down two is so high. Uh, some down twos will whip that situation, but uh, Havoc has got the long arm of the lawless, I guess. Doesn't like order. I guess that's what we'll call it. Uh, so that was a good option, but so far still stuck in the corner, unfortunately. Had to, had to lose the corner to win that round, and this yeah. is still match point here for Punk. All right, good break. That's two breaks in one match here for Stryker. <laughs> Uh, a lot of meters spent, yeah, yeah, just on defense. That's rough. That means you're not getting any of those unblockable setups. Yeah. But, oh, no, just waiting, just stopping. And this is going to maybe be it. Can we get the full Ooh. conversion? We will. Another meter spent just for good measure. And our Ultima finalist is going to be Punk. Yeah, really impressive showing here. My goodness. Uh, <laughs> who would have thought, right? Like, of course, Punk, excellent player. But, my goodness, you look at the whole roster, like you said earlier, when you look at this top eight, you don't expect this grand finals here. So this is a very interesting start to open it up with uh, Punk being uh, the first one to sit there in Ultima finals, primed and ready to potentially be the first MK1 champion. Yeah, I think maybe some people still would be very surprised at this. I, I actually think it's not that surprising to see Punk up here. It's like right. it's like seeing like like Leffen up and like doing well at, a, at like a tournament, right? <laughs> That's fair. A new game. That's it's fair. Like, it's like every single time that you see either of these like players or like so many other ones, right? Like mm -hmm. even Fox moving over to other tournaments. Like uh, you see them like oh, everyone's like wow, I can't believe they're so good at this game. It's like uh, come well, on, yeah. how many times have we seen it now? Uh, in fact, we were even I was talking with my friend uh, about seating who uh, he doesn't like a lot of the seating for big tournaments. We were saying like. Who could potentially win here? Uh, definitely, like, Forever King was on our list. I'm surprised he wasn't up here. But right. Punk was also, like, within our maybe first three picks. Uh, nice. Just because Punk is Punk and always going to be good at these games. Has also also played some NRS titles before. Right. Done well. Chose not to focus on them, like, especially when it was, like, MK11. But, right. Uh, hey, looking really, really good to potentially win our tournament. But there's yeah. still a few competitors left. We're moving back down to the losers semis, the hell semis. And so we're going to be back down to two out of three. But it's going to be Parsa versus Full Auto. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what Parsat picks up in this one here, if it's going to be Sindel or if it is going to go um, back to Astra as well. But, uh, you know, gosh, Parsap out here also killing it with the Havoc play. Um, just one more left here in this bracket, potentially. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're moving down uh, very slowly as far as what everybody's playing. But oh, actually, we only have technically, if, if a lot of decides to stay Astra, it is only Havoc and Astra in the top right, four, which, right, is, right. which is pretty wild. Now, yeah. I do get a feeling that there's a good chance that we might end up seeing the Sindel, but just because it was looking so good. Even in that yeah. match uh, earlier, like where, where Full Auto did end up winning, I think the Sindel was looking extremely strong. Yes. Uh, but again, and just kind of getting torn in between like I have two good options which is the better option that's really hard to figure right, out right, in the right. first uh, few days of a game and uh, too, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing right you know in this matchup in particular I think Sindel is a solid pick against Havoc it makes it very difficult like Havoc does have that one projectile that can kind of help out a bit plus backed with uh, Sub-Zero really makes things a little bit difficult for Sindel but the absolute uh, domination of the screen with Sindel fireballs makes it all the more difficult for Havoc to make that approach backed with uh, Sub-Zero in their loss. But still stick with uh, Astra. This is going to be button check first, but Astra with Sonya I think is also great, especially because the aerial extensions with Sonya fireball there. Yeah, it's uh, it's really really interesting the different the style difference between Punk and uh, Full Auto. Where right. uh, Sonya is it, again, it just really doesn't help you in neutral unless you're trying to get a little bit more zoning. Exactly what we just saw on there in the button check, uh, the straight projectile. For anybody who doesn't know. Any single projectiles, uh, so for example, um, like the, the Sonya Ring or uh, the Serena forward projectile, the one shot from that nobody right. uses, but it's actually really good. Uh, the Kung La Low Hat or Tech, and also Jax's like not projectile energy wave. Uh, right. They all recover in literally like two or three seconds. Like right. if you if you use half of your, your uh, a cameo meter, it doesn't mean you're using the same amount of meter, which is a, a confusing to say, but you can literally use those like four times in a row and they'll be back again in like five seconds. Right, so right, right. you can use those almost like you have a second Stop. special move or an extra special move being added on so Astro can have a full screen presence with his Sonya yes. decision so that's going to be a big difference here the zoning game probably a little bit more in Astro's favor than when we saw Punk play right, here we go there it is trying to go to the max range with the Sonya ring as well 
but, but the zoning coming out the other side as well. And yeah, again, the, the Sub Zero, uh, you're going to be able to wait out the Sub Zero armor a little bit longer yeah. this time. You're not going to have to commit to the big projectiles. And now that Sub Zero has been used twice again, saying, oh, I don't want you to zone me with Sonya. Well, then, hey, now you're not going to be bigger combos, <laughs> and I can save my Sonya for my bigger combos. There it goes. What a follow up here. Goodness gracious, 434. Oh, but there we go, the mix begins. Uh, there's also a dark little node, if anybody doesn't know what that does. Uh, if a light special hits an opponent that has a little dark circle-y thing around them, it just does extra damage. That's mm. basically all it does. Oh! Oop. Yeah, we saw that's such a good answer, the down yeah. two. Again, it's a little bit more of a mind game against some people. You can even, like, raw with the, like, dash in the air. Right. Oh, fucking unblockable's coming out right here. And nice, the armor actually goes through. That means that was a waste of two bars. Still a lead for Barca, yeah. but yeah. Uh, not the situation, not the guaranteed win that they thought they were even going to get for a second. All right, charged up. Nice little dash in there, but they want to commit too much because that is punishable. We've seen that happen before, but the low. Nice wrap-up from Parsap here for the first round. I think the second hit's a high. Maybe there's just a big enough gap. That was the punish in between. We're still all mm. trying to figure out all the different punishes right, right, here. True, true, true. Uh, and Astro definitely, I think, was a little bit less explored for the first few days of the game. Uh, definitely not after today. All right, down two again. Ooh. Down one follow-up. You can definitely down one follow that up, but I really want to see that happen. Maybe get down forward four or down back four off of that. Uh, regardless, this is going to be a great combo. Also, Parsa, kind of the only person using that mid-combo fireball, which is really sick. All right, nice. Pick up, ending with that low. All right, plus frames, but just the, yes, the weird challenge yeah. of the plus frames, standing two, and then no, no challenge on the other side, but regardless, clean game. Just all neutral. I, I think this is a tough decision now for Full Auto. I, I think we're going to see the switch to Sindel, <laughs> but you can just see the indecision, and it's tough. Definitely definitely a rough spot. I, I think the Sindel's just been doing better in neutral, a little bit more threatening in the zoning game, and it does look like what we're going to be seeing. Uh, Astro obviously got uh, Full Auto really far so right. far this weekend, uh, mostly, I, I think, using Astro, but this is this is the tried and true, right? A little yes. bit more experience, I would say. I almost feel like Cartwheel is definitely a good option against Havoc as well, too, especially considering you have armor off of it. It's got the double hit as well to kind of try to absorb those hits, but we'll see how it works out. This match up here. Cartwheel, good against everybody, maybe. Oh. Right, true, true, true. This is the classic now, seeing double sub Ooh. armor. Hello? The reach on that low? <laughs> it's a real Dalton, real Dalton yeah, right true. here. This is, uh, yeah, if any Street Fighter players want to play, uh, you've got some Trisha Normals here. But again, the beautiful conversion. That's going to be another big deal here, too, is that uh, not to say that Astra's combos are small. They can be really big, but they all take meter. And nice, yeah. spending the bar, unblockable. Yeah, the armor right there would have just been punished regardless. So uh, you know that Fallout is like, I'm not going to spend any of that meter. you got to take this combo. It's scaled heavily. You're only getting like 200 damage off of it. But still, it's a free 200 damage. All right. We'll fireball. We'll trade. We're armored up on both sides. Oh. Yeah, we're just staying two right there. Maybe yeah. not what it was intended to be, but the sub armor worked out anyway. Drop the combo. Ooh. Goes for a little bit of a mix up regardless. That was a nice way to get some safe yeah. pressure. The funny little splits kick. It's one of the funniest jumpers in the game for sure. <laughs> All right, nice spew. Full screen set up here anyway. Another one for you. Good. The uh, command grab mix up yep. line at least once. Goes for the low this time. Goes for uh, the. Oh, nice. You can duck the projectile right there, but it's a pretty safe option on block. And again, this is two out of three. We're not in losers finals yet. So this is match point for Parsa. And uh, just needs to get one more little bit. Has full bar, only one bar available for full auto. And oh, all the first hit going that direction as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Down three to take out the back of the four, two. Good block right there. You you uh, catch a lot of people pressing buttons with that follow-up on block. That's mm -hmm. why you go for it. But oh, nice! That's huge! That's the bait yeah, that we yeah, love yeah. to see from these players. Is If you try to armor through, you can potentially get an even bigger free combo and waste their meter. And for this moment like this, this is everything that you want. Yeah. All right, now we got the fireball war going. We're able to armor up here. Good trades either way. Battle of attrition at this point. Look at these footies. I yeah, love yeah, yeah. I, I love the way that like both these players are playing footies, but especially Harsh is playing with literally all these like <laughs> break your own leg kicks in footies. Ooh. Yeah, had a forceful auto stop. Nice spacing here from Parsap. Here's the low again, but the armor from the get up cartwheel. Well, this up here, but you have such a life lead. The down two. We advance into losers finals. The pop-off here for Parsap. What a showing here against full auto.
Yeah, full auto, a great showing, but I still think maybe just torn a little bit between like two great picks, right? Right, right, right. I mean, maybe, maybe probably our top eight competitor that has two of the strongest like characters in their arsenal, right? But then splitting between them amongst the games that might have been uh, a situation where it's like, well, I don't know which one the best one was. Yeah, yeah. So again, suffering from success, still a great showing, <laughs> taking fourth place, and now a rematch of our winners or heaven semifinals. <laughs> Once again, the Havoc players together. Hold on. Before they do this, I'm gonna ask them. Did, did you guys bring the the sign? I don't. They're not paying attention. To they're me. not even paying attention. They didn't definitely. They're so didn't. focused. I clearly they didn't bring the sign, so no. I'll just say it for them. 18 frame mid, uh, and that that is definitely an 18 frame mid that is carrying them pretty far this tournament so far. Uh, they are. I think it's 18 frames. I don't know. I actually heard them talking about it, but I don't know the exact number. It's pretty slow. It's back mm -hmm. to. Uh, and these players, I mean, hey, they are really representing Havoc. Uh, I feel like we didn't get that much good Havoc representation right. the past week or so. Right. The whole game. And uh, we definitely have maybe too much now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting those flashbacks of seeing all the Sindel Serena. And now I'm just getting Havoc plus whatever cameo they decide to use, whether it be the Cyrax, whether it be, uh, in this case, Sub-Zero. Uh, but yeah, tons of Havoc. We saw the one Havoc earlier in the week that really kind of took the uh, tournament by storm because the unfamiliarity, right? Nobody had unlocked them at the time. Uh, but now, seeing so much uh, Havoc this weekend, and you can see why that character has so much success, especially constantly pushing towards the corner, backed up with any sort of camera that can kind of just keep chipping away. I mean, this character is just tough to deal with in neutral. Yeah, it's, it's definitely all about the neutral. And I think, too, like, once we run into some of the characters that are going to be really strong neutral as well, like, that's why I think some of them have had some troubles against the Astros. Is she's also right. got some really strong neutral. Uh, but these two in particular have just been so strong on their actual fundamentals game uh, that even in a wild game like this, it really, really shines through in such a clear way. It does look like they're going to go for the Havoc Mirror. Again, Striker definitely at least has chosen three characters throughout the course of the uh, this weekend, I should say. Right. Uh, but this is looking like the... the Go to. I think the Havoc has won by far the most. I think Reptiles lost like every single game, which is unfortunate because they're felt cool. But uh, Havoc Mirror was sub. That's exactly what we saw in the uh, winners' finals, and now it's exactly right. what we're seeing now. I think again. Okay, locked in here. Buttons are checked. This is it. Our losers' finals match before grand finals. Let's hear it. See Otaku Seven MK One. Do it for me because I can't do it. <laughs> we got a huge crowd out here, by the way. Full this. I want to say this early in the morning, but it's only this early in the morning for me. Right, 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 right. Just past noon, which is definitely not when I'd be awake. But uh, yeah, only three players, two Havocs and an Astra. But only one Havoc gets to make it back up to grand finals. The rematch. Last time they met here, it was down to game three nice. and Parsa won. But Striker wants it for sure. All right, armored up just in the nick of time, too, before that fireball hit and the disjointed hurt box definitely going to come through. And you're rolling into a ball of goo. Tough. This is definitely a very gooey matchup, yeah. for sure. <laughs> We're getting uh, we're getting a lot of a slime here. We, we, there, we need a green mod so we can like uh, right, like, right. Be like Nickelodeon. Of course, of course. Uh, Wait for the Halloween <laughs> costumes. It'll be a Halloween costume oh, yeah, for there sure. We go. There we go. <laughs> Definitely some good Halloween costumes in there. But all right, big conversion. It's gonna Woo! get the nice confirm. Uh, yeah, a lot of meter saves. It seems like we're gonna be seeing most meter saves for breakers this time around. Right. There's a chance for some uh, like two bar blockable setups, but especially with the arm, there's some like weird ways that uh, actually we're gonna see it off the bat. So uh, I was definitely wrong about that. But just getting the jump in and then using it for the full conversion. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. Striker starting off strong. Yeah, there's really a good stuff here. Nice with the bound of the EX Fireball. Or Goo Ball, if you will. Yeah, gonna have a little bit of extra oh. uh, cameo as well uh, yep. on that sub. Only one bar available of sub for Parsa. Sheesh. Wow, not even, yeah, not even gonna even use it this round. That is just a great anti-air. Uh, yeah, not only do you have to be good at, at like footsies, of course, in the fundamental game, but the anti-airs have been so on point for yeah. all these players. All right, the neck breaker, nice toss out the trash. All right. Down four, down four. Just mm -hmm. like a lot of patience, I like it. And again, not committing to any of the follow-ups off the back two, two. There's a lot of respect here, especially since they both play Havoc. They know exactly what the mind game is, so it's kind of like another level of Yomi. And, oh, try to get yeah. the follow-up with the one, one two. I like that because even though it whiffed, it was still plus. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, had the duck throw there. Early break. It's up here from Striker. Yeah, I like the staggers going for the back dash to try to force uh, Parse out to overextend to get a whip punish opportunity. I mean, Havoc, such a good character for whip punishing because of all of his normals forward advancing like that. 
Oh, okay, the mid combo fireball that I was saying was so cool into the unblockable, but oh no, the challenge, the roll on wake up, just saying, I'm gonna wait for what you're gonna do, but I'm not gonna hold block. And so that's two bars wasted now for Striker. Regardless, though, has a gigantic lead here and a round lead in game number one. It's gonna be a three out of five. It's gonna be a long set. Yes. All right, blow it up. Ooh. Yep, might be it, I think. Yeah, yep, no be. chance there you go, there to break. You go. And uh, first strong game one for Striker. Uh, it's so interesting to me in this game, too. You know, there's been so much talk about, like, should we do two out of three? Should we do three out of five? Right. Because some matches in this game are instantaneous. Some matches right. end in, like, ten seconds. But when you see matches like this, like a lot of the Havoc matches that we've had today, when we saw Aztec in the uh, in top 24, right. uh, yeah. playing so lame. I mean, it's, it's a compliment, you know. Right, playing right, lame right. is good. Defensively. But, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> we're going to be honest. That's lame. You're, okay. you're, when you're defensive, you're blocking. When you're uh, supermaning across the screen uh, to whiff, to get away, that's, that's like, <laughs> but but no no Aztec's a great player that I've uh, yes, been talking yes, yes, for a long yes. time. Um, but yeah, some of these matches take forever, so it's uh, it's really tough, right? Because yeah. if we had three out of five of this matchup in every single bracket, we are running way too late. If we have three out of five of the full auto matchup previously, then we are running ahead of schedule still. Yeah, it's always hard to tell. But again, we're in for a long road here. Uh, Striker and Parts have, they went to game three last time they played. It was only two out of three set. Went three out of five. Plenty of time for adaptation. Striker usually really good adaptation, Ooh. but uh, holding the lead on early is pretty good. Yep. Nice, got the spew. Instead of with more armor right after. We got the bound. Nice trade if you're on uh, Parsap. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get a big follow up. Striker still in the turn back. Nice. Oh, combo. Uh, yeah, you, you have to drop your combos essentially. I, I know it sounds weird, but you end your combos earlier than like actually getting a finisher so you can get Oki with the True. projectile. And that's just what you have to do with Havoc. If anybody's wondering why it looks like they're dropping combos sometimes, it's always intentional. Mostly intentional. All right, nice down one here. Oh, the back Ooh. two, oh, just dash up, yeah. Caught, caught a button, maybe. That does yeah. jump over some low pokes sometimes. Oh, I'm going for the unblockable. There we go. Oh, nice little back dash right there, very important. And giving no opportunity here for Striker to even get caught by that unblockable. Yeah, I love that pressure. It's just like, eventually you're gonna have to make a read, right. regardless of whether it's gonna work out for you or not. Uh, now we're both super low, 15 seconds left. That might be, oh no, didn't get the full conversion right there. Just went for the low, maybe dialed in a little bit quick, but the low is gonna be the option again. That was a 50-50, a true 50-50 guess for right. the game. Uh, whether it was gonna be back to too low, back to too grab, or obviously you could have even staggered. So uh, definitely a bunch of different options. Uh, Parsa though, fighting back their way back in. Uh, as a oh no. Too. Yeah, armored up, didn't fall through, could have gone for the low, would have broken it. Oh, there we go again, the setup. This has worked almost not at all in this matchup, and it's going to continue to maybe not work. Uh, yes, a 0% success rate, as far as I remember, <laughs> in this in particular uh, round of the tournament. All right, another goo ball, here's one more. Oh, what a duck, able to get a full punish. Missed the micro dash in there, that was crucial to get that damage. Yeah, down two is doing just so much damage with single hits, but nice, again, the back two. I mean, again, that is such a good footsie's normal. Mm -hmm. if, that, if, there, if that back two wasn't as good as it was hitbox-wise, and then this character would be honestly complete trash. But that's why we're seeing so much of it. Back to two in a fatal blow. This one, I believe, doesn't kill. Uh, the scaling's gonna be oh, yeah. extremely low, but it looks like the life is just a little bit too high. So this might be a guess for game on both sides after this. Exactly, yep. We'll see what the wake-up game is going to look like here. A little bit more health here for Striker to kind of block some of this projectile game here. Armored up, down to oh, kept it simple. Oh, oh, oh. What a round for Striker! Striker has a basically 100% uh, success rate oh, on the anti as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's a great down two. Uh, honestly, I think it's kind of the only option you have as well as Havoc. Some characters have been great anti options in this game. Right. Havoc. I mean, it's a great down two, but uh, all you're getting is just the actual knockdown off of it. Yeah. But it's consistent at least. Duck the first one here, immediate break from Striker. Oh, nice roll to avoid the goo ball. <laughs> the goo ball going back even, but yeah. uh, but Sub-Zero said I don't care about that. You, you know, I, mean, I got your back quite literally this time around. Uh, so we're gonna see the full conversion there. 340, that's about the biggest that you can get as uh, uh, Havoc, so you're definitely happy to get that mm -hmm. in the mirror. Speaking of weird mirror things, just projectiles into go. projectiles. Yeah. Right down four, bring the back two string. One more time here. Oh, the instant Jeez. duck instantly ducked it into the punish. That's gonna be full conversion. 
Uh, doesn't get the full uh, projectile conversion this time, but no. Fatal Blow now available for Striker. So Ooh. one big hit. Actually, you could down for it and maybe confirm it into Fatal Blow if you see the arm coming right. out. That would be really cool, but maybe not going to get the chance. This should be enough, I think. No, no, not quite. Just his chip, but he's going to catch it on the second back 2-2. Two -two. Maybe a false block there could have worked, but in the end, we're going to tie things up. And uh, we've got uh, some... Oh, a little bit of a technical difficulty. The uh, in-house screen ah. uh, currently blacked out for folks at home. Uh, they're going to be taking care of that here before we advance. So this gives both players the opportunity to uh, kind of recuperate their thoughts, uh, think through their next uh, neutral interactions, as it were. Uh, they're like, hmm, should I back 2-2 two -two or <laughs> should I back 2-2? Two -two? And then after I back 2-2, two -two, should I back 2-2 two -two again or should I... Back to two again. You know, <laughs> what they should do is probably back to two. And then if they back to two, they also back to two. I think that makes sense. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still really surprised, truly, that we're not seeing four four. I think that's an amazing normal. Yeah. Uh, it's slightly faster than back to two, so it might win in the neutral war. And it's uh, it is a, as far as I can remember, it's a safe on block, uh, like low into uh, just like a sweep, essentially. Right. Uh, wait, was that it? Was that the normal right there? I, I actually <laughs> looked like away for one second. So and wait I think a minute. I saw it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if it was, then uh, then bless you. But we are going to see the unblockable finally yes. work overall. And again, you're spending two uh -oh. bars to set that up. Uh, yeah. And yeah, unfortunately, it worked, and then the drop made it not work. Yeah, that was supposed to be that freeze restand here from Sub Zero. Another drop. This is already turning into spaghetti this round. Yeah. We, need to, we need to slow down. We need to settle up because we cannot get these drops. If Havoc drops combos a lot of times, it is fun. Okay. Max range here, both respecting armor. Nice trade here. Keeps you close as well for Striker to continue pressure. Right, the grab is going to do a bunch of half of the remaining life, but we are potentially one good version away. That was a big risk. I like that. That may have led to a potential win situation, but it did take a lot of meter uh, yes. from Parsa. So uh, big, big risk, big reward potentially uh, ended up being the big risk, <laughs> the big punish. Right, nice down to striker again. You're right. The accuracy from town two. Uh, controls the skies for yeah. sure. Uh, they are definitely unsafe. Oh, nice! Oh, broke the armor right there with three hits. It looked like that was actually weird. Uh, but this is going to be an unblockable setup option once again. Saying now you spent your bar, I'm going to spend mine, and that's a great way to guarantee it essentially oh. because you can block string into that unblockable. Yep. And uh, I love that choice. Yep, just that breaker there. All right, the patience going to get scooped up. Tragic. Grab just doing a little bit of extra damage is really big right now, especially because again, like I said, it's a very low damage game, right? Most yeah. of these hits and conversions are like, like just little bits like this. Like when you see the command grab, it does uh, like one. Uh, oh, I thought it was one ten. One hundred nine is a weird number, but uh, like the, doing ten extra damage in a grab over in the course of a three out of five game set, right. it, it adds up to be a lot. All right, armed warfare coming through. Uh, oh uh, no. Oh. The armor is working out a lot better this set uh, so far than it was in the first time around. It seems like they've been blocking a lot, but again, mixed for game, and it's just been staggers waiting for that neutral duck. Yep, one more touch is all that striker needs. We do get it off of a roll. No, yeah, the, uh, I think that was actually uh, uh, the potential right there where it's like, if even if you hit me, there's some self damage yeah, that yeah, yeah, can yeah. do. So uh, it was kind of like, oh, well, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a risk, but even the chip there would be enough. So very, very smart stuff. But uh, striker now up in the set, even yeah. though te technically they're now even, right? It was 2-1 in uh, winner's finals and heaven's finals. Now it's 2-1 the other direction. So against each other in this tournament, they are now three to three. <laughs> and there's still a few more games left for somebody to break that tie, but uh, this is looking like some very, very even play to me. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the patience between both of these players really trying to, uh, you know, take advantage of every little inch that they get in this match. You need it. You need yes. it. I know I keep talking about it, about how low damage Havoc is. Uh, I, I hope nobody out there thinks I'm trying to like downplay Havoc, but honestly, Havoc does have a lot of struggles. It's the truth. These players are just playing amazingly. Uh, you know, we're not seeing the 400 damage easy that we're seeing from the Brockas. We're, right. seeing, we're seeing like 100 damage hits here and there, 130 damage grabs, you know, 100, just little bits. So you got to do what you got to do, and everything has to be consistent. All right, nice. Another throw. And again, already armored up. Yeah, and so much of it is the longevity of the additional health from Sub-Zero and even the armor in this projectile game, too. Making so much of the toolkit from Havoc, Nolan Void. 
Yeah, that's another reason why this match ends up so long, is this is a 1,150 health match on both sides against a character that doesn't do very much damage, so yeah. just naturally everything's gonna take so much longer. Uh, this might be enough raw spin after this. EX spin just to make sure I like that. See, that's gonna be, again, about the maximum you're gonna get. Even right. spending an extra bar, 368, and that was a very specific situation to be in to get that damage, so uh, that, is, uh, that is a really good confirmation on how you need that damage to kill. Oh! Ooh. Weird I guess problem. wasn't really feeling that combo at all in the corner. Just, you know, sometimes you get overloaded with decision making right there. You just stack me. Just don't do anything. Just decide to take a little dance instead, yeah. you know? Just dance back. Or a little me like, all right, all right. Let's limber up. This is a long set. <laughs> uh, match point, though, for Striker. I got to say, that's huge. Yeah. Currently on the offense. All right, nice down four. Avoids the fireball and also gets the hit. There it is, Jeez. yeah. See, that's such a good low. I don't know why we're not seeing it more. It catches so many people walking back. I think it's one of his best tools. Uh, but there we go, the unblockable stuff. No! Too early or too late, maybe in between just catching the knockdown frames in the middle of the juggle and restanding. And now we're going to see the unblockable go the other direction. Goodness. Oh, so definitely happy about that. We're still one potential conversion away, though. We've got Fatal Blow on deck for Striker. That combo again, not going to do a ton of damage. 200 yeah. for a bar. And so we just need to find one small little hit here. Both sides can potentially do it, both with one bar. sub has gone for Whoa. both now, though. So this is going to be damage-wise an advantage yeah. for Striker having that Fatal Blow. Now it's even. Yeah, just is one touch here, essentially. All right, there's our throw. No. Definitely throw uh, will be kill here again. Or back to two grab might even do it. Oh. Oh, grab the other direction. They're not doing enough. There's four seconds left on the clock. We're at time. Yeah, Trying to get the chip. It no, it wasn't oh. enough. Tried to time it out, but that spin leaving just enough time for that last jab. And so Parsa still completely in this. Gonna accidentally waste the two bars though off the bat, whiffing the EX roll. That's a rough way to do this. All right, still so close a match here. But Striker in full control right now in this corner to seize victory at the finish line, potentially. Oh, and this is a, a there's a literal finish line yeah. right here, and that is that big red gross line again! Two times for Striker in a row! Catching at the time where it's literally not even connecting. That's super rough. And now, I think mentally, it's going to be a tough fight back. Right. It's still a good lead. It's still a great position. Match point for Striker, but you've got to be like, oh my god, why is this stuff not working? Right. I feel like I'm making the right reads. All right, armored up just in the nick of time. That's an excellent trade here if you're Striker. The down forwards are actually starting to get a little bit of uh, chip in here. And yeah. as we've seen, the life lead can mean everything. Uh, we're already down to 35 seconds, which seems like a lot of time. But in this matchup, that is not a lot of time. As they're just slowly chipping each other away, doing little bits of damage here and there. Right. We saw that literally like one second, one hit of block can be everything. All right. Barely a lead from Striker here. But immediately take it back by Parsap thanks to this throw. Able to get another fireball set up potentially. There it is. But already armored up. With that back to pick up, it's a oh. fatal blow to steal a lead. Oh, oh, no, there was definitely an attempt to break. Oh, no, it couldn't break because Sub-Zero was out. Yeah. That's why you weren't yeah. able to break that. Uh, definitely, we see the little shake right there. Like, why was my the break not happening? But you cannot break while your cameo is on the screen. And yeah. now one hit away. Can Parsa avoid this chip? Flawless block is going to stay alive. Tried the roll, didn't make it. And that's going to be Striker winning the run back, making it back up to the grand finals, the Ultima finals. But yeah, I think right there, that was the explanation. Cameo yeah. was out, Sub-Zero was on screen, Breaker not yeah. available. Definitely a way to go. But again, that's a skill that's so heavily managed in games, you know, any sort of team game, any sort of versus yeah. game. Uh, and this is something we're all learning as time goes on. But a great play between two of the best Havoc players that we've ever seen. Right. It's going to be Striker in a fresh matchup that's making it back up to the Grand Finals. Yeah, I mean, excellent showing, too. And again, like, resource management is so important in uh, MK1, especially because, one, you're paying attention to your cameo. And like you said, having it out, unable to get that break because that was so important. You knew where your bar was, but you forgot that you summoned out your cameo and wasn't able to get the breaker there. And, you know, being able to take advantage of that as Striker was crucial. But again, too, like, there's some of those key moments there where even Striker was making some of those inconsistent drops, especially when it came to those unblockables. And that can really add up, especially 
especially against a player like Punk in this grand finals. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, I mean, also just the fact that it was such a long, drawn out, difficult set where that's gonna take right. a really heavy, like, uh, stamina toll and mental toll. Oh my gosh, There's yeah. There's a, a lot that goes into that. And uh, we're actually seeing a little bit of uh, uh, talking on the side as Blue Linkus, I know at least, uh, just trying yeah. to get a little bit of coaching in. This is, again, a fresh match, right? In our yes. uh, upper bracket finals, in our, uh, what is it called? Heaven's finals, oh my God, I'm trying to remember exactly. Ultima. Yeah, <laughs> Ultima finals now. But, but in the Heaven's finals, yes. this was a different Havoc. So definitely there's some experience against the Havoc, but we have not seen this matchup in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And now both these players, technically neither of them has, have uh, lost to any of the players left in the tournament, uh, which has got to feel good. The only big advantage here is that, of course, there is the winner's bracket advantage for Punk, uh, which is, you know, obviously not a small which thing. Is, but yeah. as far as like, like, you know, if you have to go up into a grand finals and you're like, okay, this person has already beaten me, it's tough. It's mentally tough. You know that there's a good chance they're going to beat you again just based on the fact that you've already lost to them. But you can, this one, you can go in fresh. You can say, yes. hey, you know what? Literally, I might just have Punk's number or Punk might is like, I might just have Striker's number. Like, right, literally, right. it's just a brand new fresh matchup where the numbers are going in Punk's favor, yeah. being in winners. Yeah, and the other factor of it is, too, is that now you're going up against Striker's Havoc. It's no longer Parsnap's Havoc, so that mm -hmm. data reset does happen here. Oh, sure. And we see that time and time again sure. throughout the bracket at MK1 that different styles do really get showcased across the player base here because we see like uh, different decisions based on cameo, based on how the player wants to approach in neutral as well. Uh, so this might be a little bit of a shake up here, but again, Punk, no stranger to this hot seat here in Ultima Finals at CEO Taku 7 MK1. All right, we're starting things off. No button check for these players. They are ready to go in. Yes. I mean, hey, Stryker has definitely been playing more than enough on this side, on this setup. But already the offense starting off for Pong. Of course, it's going to be three out of five like every other match that we've just seen. Uh, but this is now going to be a tough road for Stryker. Having to win a ton in a row and then a ton in a row again. The 2-1 with Punish. We've seen that Punk is so, so good at using that. And then, of course, getting that full conversion with the light projectile as oh, well. Nice. Oh, gets a little bit of a drop, but another pickup again. And this is looking to be all Punk's round. All right. No meter, so we're able to get a full aerial follow-up here. But, I mean, you have a substantial life lead. I wouldn't worry too much about it. What a teleport punish from Striker. Going to be able to hold this corner here, but a tall order nonetheless. Has tons of meter to make this worthwhile. Ooh! That was such a good way of punish for the back yes. two, too. All right, at least 14 to meet out of punk, right? Uh, this is going to be a tough comeback to make. It's possible, but Chip is looking like, yeah, no chance there. Maybe you have to flawless block that. But yeah. Again, our timings are not super great yet. Uh, but that's at least got to be a win, right? As long as you can get something out of the opponent before you lose, it's a big win. Right, right, right. Massive uh, resource lead for Striker because of it. All right, down four. Got the space we're looking for. Able to armor up and send a fireball. Oh, that sweep is so yeah. good. It's such a funny move, and a literal disjointed hitbox. Uh, and this has just been a big tool. Honestly, we've seen all of the uh, Havoc used so far, but sparingly, I think it's it's not like the uh, the safest move, especially if it's like right. jumped over, but nice. Again, the 2-1 with punish from Punk. Definitely the go-to. Heck, I'm pretty sure that disjointed hurtbox is actually called the disjoint in the move list. <laughs> oh, when you look is at it, it really? I think it's disjoint something. That's funny. That's actually, that's hilarious. I, I was making that joke, I did not realize that NRS is already funnier than me. All right, big combo in the corner. Uh, this is looking a lot more like Striker's round, but Punk has shown a uh, really good opportunity to like get out of the corner a lot of different ways. And uh, one way is just do the combo, and that is gonna give you, all, like I said, that opportunity to side switch if you want to. Uh, obviously in that situation you're gonna want to, and now yep. the life's evened up. All right, ooh, the mid but didn't believe. Send it with the overhead, let the missile do the work for you. Oh, nice low. But right back out to the down one, interrupt, and also keep this. <laughs> oh, no. It was, it was a really cool <laughs> idea. That was, that was actually genius from Striker. I got to say, the, the missile, again, the, if the missile was timed correctly there, you lose regardless. Yes. But the fact that the missile was just, if there was any chance the missile wasn't timed correctly, you match that down too. It'll kill before the missile hits you. So a genius way to play to your house. All right, round a piece in this first game. Nice jump in. Actually getting a little bit of extra time because of it, so you don't get hit by that uh, goo ball. But a big pickup. Oh, going for the Oki setup. Oh, yep. isn't able to get the uh, pickup off the trade. That's a little weird one right there, but I do like the attempt. Uh, these down four still controlling the neutral pretty well. Nice jump over. Doesn't get the full punish. Assume the standing two is going to hit with a little bit far. Uh, Punk's doing a really, right. really amazing job of jumping over the arm, though, which a lot of players have not been doing. Ooh, what an overhead here. 
just going for yeah, more just keep mid it. staggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been it's been the go-to for Punk. Punk again not using four three almost at all no. throughout the weekend. Uh, that's usually the mountain game right there, by the way. That last little kick, but that's a big conversion. Yes. That should be enough. No meter to break. And is this game one going to striker? What a game one here. And you're right though that. That mid to overhead has been the consistent theme for Punk, hoping that the opponent breaks. And eventually, I think you've seen so many matches of Punk doing this over and over again that you're like, you know what? I'm going to get used to this tendency. I'm not going to fall for this train trap here, potentially, or get interrupted by a follow-up uh, mid. Striker, I mean, a great way to uh, to start things off, right? You've right. got a long path, but you want to win your first game. Yeah. That's going to make you feel really, really good, uh, at least as far as just like, okay, well, I can do this. At least I know that for the rest of this. Like, no matter what happens, I know that I've got the potential to win Completely. against this opponent. Obviously, Striker's going to have the potential to win against every single opponent, but there's just always that doubt in your mind, I think, for every single competitor, no matter what situation they're in. Uh, and right now, uh, Striker's doing a great job holding on to the lead in game number uh, two as well. Oh, well nice throw. Just out of range here, but the down three does get the interrupt there. Nice down four back for Striker. I really want to see, this is off topic, I want to see Astro with Lau assist. I feel like that would be really good. Four, yeah, four into yeah. low hat would be uh, very, very silly. Uh, but nice armor, by the way, it's keeping things even. Again, the four, four, I think it's such a good tool to catch people walking back. And we've seen so much neutral being played that a lot of people are trying to walk back in with punishes. I think it's a good tool to pull out every mm -hmm. once in a while. It'll catch a lot of these situations that down fours are catching in. But Striker, up a game, now up a round in game number two. All right, armored up again, blocking. Wow, the sector assist. Yeah, getting the punish on that's going to be a little bit more awkward with Havoc because you don't have any like fast range or right. advancing moves that aren't Ooh. that are going to get you an actual combo, right? Yeah. Uh, back two is I think maybe a little bit too slow to get the punish. I don't know exactly how minus it is, but uh, still, just going for plus frames is going to be at least something. All right, nice stand one anti air and absolutely break that because Astro was absolutely about to hurt you for that one. Yeah. Uh, especially with uh, all of the baller variable for Punk. Um, yeah. Two, almost three, so we're definitely leading up to some big damage. There we go, gonna catch out on some of it right now. Chooses not to switch sides. Again, a big advantage that Asher has off of basically every single combo, and now the corner pressure begins. Block. Nice, try to get out of the corner, but immediately shut down the approach for Punk. Oh no, just these little jab yeah. strings. A lot less than the forward four. This time it was two, two, three or two, two, four. I don't know what that string is, but uh, safe ender off of the uh, the end of that. The first hit is a high. It is kind of like a jab string, but uh, there's a lot of respect, I think, just coming out from right. striker. All right, nice. A little bit of a back dash, but the down two. Oh, what a no. call out, but striker not ready for the side swap. Yeah, the, the standing one was like good timing, I think, but I just think the weirdness of the corner cross up right there yeah. made Striker go backwards, which is really unfortunate. Striker's had some weird things go on, but yeah. I think Havoc just might be one of those characters. That's a smart conversion. Super smart. Stand jab into roll to get out of the way of the missile. Otherwise, it was going to be a combo breaker. Yes. All right. Wow. Back 2-2 two, two. does hit the mark once again. Good pick up. Need a break. Nice poke, a pick up with the uppercut from uh, Sector. Oh, the jump over again. This mm -hmm. time, finally, third time's the charm. Punk finally getting uh, like kind of like a full punish right there. Could have gone for the stand 2-1, but he was like, you know what, just screw it. Nice. Let's just get something here. And uh, still going to be holding on to a life lead. That was not, that was that 2 percent That was. Are you going to be able to get out of this? Oh, the big attempt. This should be oh! It's overhead. It's overhead. No. What a, you what punk, a knowledge punk check! Oh, Punk, with the thumbs up. Oh, my God. That's not a game. The game is not over by any means. There's still a chance on both sides for sure. We're going to be one hit away. The down fourth going to connect. Tries to go for chip. It's not enough. Oh, no. no. Punk. <laughs> punk, you a monster for that one. You, <laughs> you, why do you do that, Punk? Why do you do that to people? And that's, that's <laughs> all you can do is sit there and smile, because, like, like he, you know, he, he took the chance. He took the chance that it was going to be the whiff punish. And he's like, what? It just worked out. It's just the Punk factor, I guess, man. I don't know. Like why that. you do that, Punk? Oh, no. <laughs> all right, all right. Striker laughing at it, too. It's funny. It's funny. Day one. Day one things Unbelievable. Are... Punk's a bully. That's all it is. Punk's <laughs> just a bully. <laughs>
<laughs> that was the end of so much good momentum. That was honestly so well played by Striker, but it's still so early on that we rarely see like the raw blockable fatal blows. You gotta know how they all hit. I will say for anybody out there who's still learning the game, about 90% of them, if you block high, you're good. The only ones are like Hung Lao's hits low, Havoc's is a grab. I yeah. think there's the only ones you have to worry about. Every yeah. other one is gonna be overhead or mid as far as I know. Somebody definitely tell me if I'm wrong on that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely yeah. rough way to stop the momentum. Let's see if Striker can stay in this. Y'all at home are lying to yourselves if you didn't do the exact same thing, punk there with a thumbs up. You yeah. know you got away with some malarkey right there. Yeah, and, uh, and again, he, he knows that it was like, it wasn't like a silly read on his part. It was just like, he's just like, well, we take we those. We take those. <laughs> right? That's, that's the number one, uh, like, fighting game strategy. We take those. Yes. All right, nice jab, but unfortunately, we're going to get shut down by this goo ball. Big life lead from Punk. Uh, uh, definitely seeming like yeah. having a little bit of like the, the momentum after that, which nice is fully understandable. Ooh, yeah, spending the bar extra just yeah. to make sure. Punk's also building a ton of meter, by the way. I will, I will note that almost always has a lot of meter, uh, has the ability to convert, has a lot of breakers as well. So uh, every part of that meter management game is looking so good for Punk. All right, nice poke. And a couple down three set up here too. Weird trade. Yeah. That happened so fast that they both just staggered backwards. It was like it was oh. no normal coming out. Yeah. They just both got scared. There was like a little like mouse coming out of the ground. They're like, oh. <laughs> All right, armored up. Nice down four with the counter hit. Immediate break. Oh, OK. Try to get a conversion off that, but uh, just staying plus friendly so parts. Right. Oh, the grab. Yeah, the grab went. That, that's been the kind of go-to, I think, Striker. When somebody wants to grab, they dash up and grab and uh, just try to get that counter back. Yeah, the Chicago punish for sure. <laughs> oh, this is big. I don't know if it's enough. I think not quite. Yeah, not quite. Uh, classic Havoc damage at this point. But Ooh, really good down, too. Yeah. I mean, are, do of we expect course. anything else from Striker at this point, it's, right? It's armed warfare. That's all it is. <laughs> Long arm of the lawless. Nice fog block at the end of that string. I don't think it does anything, but maybe it does. Oh. We're, we're all still learning. Yeah, good little interrupt on the high there from Punk. But unfortunately, Striker is still able to steal the turn. Nice. Got the stab. Yeah, those 2 1 with punishes. I said it before, but it's mm -hmm. been so, so, so good for Punk. Uh, not going to be able to get the grab. Nice. The jab, full conversion. A little bit of a different combo just because it's uh, a little, like one launch off of the 1 2 2. Oh. The down 2. Yeah, that works. It's been working pretty well yeah. in that situation. Uh, forward throw, still gonna hold this corner position. Oh, um, yep. I mean, where are you gonna escape? Because yeah. a lot of times, like you said too, some shorter down twos are not so reliable. Yeah, but that is uh, definitely not a shorter down two. Yeah, yeah, that is the length of Havoc. The, okay, that same exact conversion, and this one's gonna be unblockable. And again, I don't think this is gonna be enough. Even if you convert into Fatal Blow here, I would do it anyway, but uh, okay, no, it's gonna be the, the break off the bat. Yeah, it would've been broken if it was the Fatal Blow, probably. That's gonna mean Lawless Meter. Uh, one hit, probably still gonna kill, though, if Punk manages to get the right read, Ooh. but oh no, this is to break the tie so far. Oh, oh, oh but no. too far to get the confirm. No punish, though, no punish. The down force happening, that jump grab should be enough. And just barely not chip <laughs> Punk always just by the skin of his teeth, just barely holding on. These have been the most down to the wire, like down yeah. to a pixel <laughs> moments. <laughs> laughing, just knowing, oh my god, how many things can I get away with in this tournament? It just keeps happening over and over. I'm sorry. But, I'm sorry. I keep, I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, honestly, obviously, Punk has earned all those situations. Oh, my God, look at that. Look at that. Don't you pat him on the back. Don't you pat no. him on the back, bro. Don't you do it. Is it <laughs> I mean, what can you do but laugh, man? Seriously. No. I, I feel like Punk has infinite mental advantage right now. No. Right? Infinite. What purpose is served by No. Striker so going through it right now. It's tough. But honestly, yeah, yeah. honestly, how how Striker played that last match after? I mean, the, okay, the bigger mental damage definitely gonna be getting hit by the raw overhead. That was yes, that, that was the big one for yeah. sure. And still played really, really well. Just didn't quite get yeah. the last hit of chip that they needed. Maybe get canceling it was supposed to come out like in a down back four or something. Right. But uh, it's just unfortunate it didn't end up that way. So definitely still Ooh. in it, but I mean, Punk now just needs to win one more game to be our first big champion for the biggest Mortal Kombat 1 tournament so far offline. Yes. All right, there we go. Nice down four here. Ooh. Yeah, just barely getting caught by that goo ball. And a strong lead from Striker here to turn things around. Nice throw. Uh, 
this is still just such a big lead. And yeah, yeah, you, you gotta yeah. know the zoning a little bit. Ooh, uh, that's a really big change here. Mm -hmm. uh, Punk has not really been using that zoning very much, but no. pulling it out kind of late in this set, and especially too to try to get like some knockdowns to maybe try to make this comeback start to happen. And now, even though it didn't work out, it's still a threat that Striker's gonna have to watch out for. Yes. But I do have to say, Striker's mental game is extremely strong because uh, after yeah. the last two games, I would have been tilted out of my <laughs> mind. I would have been off the stage already. Well, and that's the thing. In that second game, you just can't leave it that close, right? Like, it, that was a decision where it could have seesawed either way. Both players, one sneeze away from death. Yeah, you, you, you just need to clutch out those moments to stop yeah, yeah, in that yeah. situation. Uh, but also, definitely a little bit of disrespect right there. Trying to catch uh, Punk, maybe just not low blocking right. for the unblockable. Uh, but the armored option, like I mentioned, is so, so good for Ashra in that situation that it's just something that Punk was ready to do. Yep. Uh, now holding on to the lead as well in the corner. Punk not on tournament point quite yet, but one more round could be it. Good respect there on the armor. Overhead does get blocked here. Another missile set up. Yeah, but not going to save you because we're not doing the close missile. We're just doing the regular set missile. And uh, I don't think Punk's really utilized the forward or close missile from uh, Sector at all. Oh, yes. there we go. There we go. The finally, things are going to work out. That was exactly what you wanted to see. Uh, a good attempt by Punk right there. You kind of had to try something. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you're literally just dead. Maybe expecting to uh, try to catch a button or something with that special. But obviously unsafe on block. Obviously, you're getting full punish. You don't have the meter to break. So uh, you yes. just had to try whatever you can. Played to his outs. But now, we are going to be 2-2, two to two, despite all the, the unfortunate stuff that's happened to Striker. Right. I feel like if this reset happens, Striker's in a great great spot like i feel like yeah. already fought really well into this yeah striker already a player with a ton of heart in this set so far and you know being unswayed tying it up right now two all in the set stay alive good knowledge to punish that yeah. as well uh not been being used in block strings almost at all so being able to block low right there is right. a really smart choice and then of course be ready for the punish off the bat uh already has a lot of great massive knowledge for sure i mean uh oh uh oh oh no Dun dun, what's going on? Something's wrong with the controller. All right, all right. You know, something's cursed about about this this grand finals. The, the unluckiest stuff is happening to everybody. But now the question is, who is it going to happen to, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know what we did. Did what games were playing on here? Who put like a, a curse on the stream setup? Yeah, this is the second time we've seen this happen uh, so far in this tournament. And my goodness, that's that's a heartbreaker too, especially at that point. Yeah, I um, I definitely don't want to like call out something, uh, anything yet. But I will say that it's happened. Uh, it's happened twice with converters. So just everybody should be careful. Uh, I think Blueinkus was using a converter, and now Punk's definitely using a converter. So everybody yeah. just be very, very careful. Test out a lot of stuff offline before you play. Uh, I'm. We're all trying to figure out yeah. why either of these happened. I think the other thing too is the heating of the uh, the console yeah, itself. Yeah. That's a really big factor. Quite often, Striker is going to take this round. Uh, so we're going to wait for the timeout, so no more meter advantage here because, you know, this is one of those games where meter will carry over. So 14 seconds of a break here before we move on to this one. But, yeah, I mean, it, it could be any number of factors. It used to be back in the day that the Brooks needed an update. If there was a recent update, there would be an eight-minute timeout that the PlayStation console would give, and it would remove control. I don't think that's a factor anymore for the adapter. Uh, but the other step could be it might just be the heat of the console itself really messing with things, but you're right. Yeah. So here we go. No, these things, you need a Sub-Zero cameo for the PS5s. Or, uh, they for are real, going for real. To, yeah, no. uh, but this is reset point now for Striker. Uh, Punk, though, I feel like not going to be uh, feeling like too angry about that. It's just, no, it is no, what no. it is. Obviously, you're mad, but Punk has just been in this situation, I feel like, more times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, doing great. Gets the jump over kick, doesn't get the full conversion, Ooh. puts it to forward too, but uh, Striker is uh, not spending meter on that. Could have spent meter. I actually expected to, but not. All right, good counter. A couple fireballs. Tries to interrupt the startup with the fireball, but not going to see. That's a good point for Astro right there because the startup of the fireball, you don't put yourself in danger for it and are usually able to shut it down because of her 2-1 uh, her string. Oh, just getting the little hits here and there. One conversion could have been it. No, the back to two is not going to fully connect. A great tech, but one hit away, and we're getting Ooh. a reset. Oh, the grab. I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's four grab. That's a lot of damage. It is enough. Bracket is reset. We are even back down to zero, zero. I mean, that's the mental fortitude after everything that happened here. Striker still staying strong. All right, getting a little yes. bit relieved, you can tell. Just standing up. <laughs> Punk's just laughing. Man, what's going on? Punk's like, Punk's just playing an online set right now. Punk, do you know this isn't Combat League? <laughs> I mean, honestly, again, the heart from Striker alone uh, is just 
on full display right now in this grand final set. This is a big moment to start things out with here. Um, you know, you see Tong, his self up here, probably trying to make sure that everything's all good with the PS5 console and, uh, you know, the situation for Punk here. But Punk's just going to ride it out. A good sport in this one here, especially it causes so much stress to a player on the side. I don't think I've ever seen someone that causes this much havoc. <laughs> literally, yeah. literally. It's funny too, like, okay, so now we're of course entering the Grand Finals reset, the Ultima Finals reset. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be a fresh three out of five. Again, man, I know these are some of those matchups that make this game take forever. Oh, the raw arm. If the arm doesn't armor through anything and just connects, it actually crumples, right, just right, like right. we saw. This is the first time we've seen it in Ooh. all of these matches, I think. Yep, and still committed to the string. Unfortunately, a late call on the miss to remain safe. And again, I want to start seeing some close sector calls because usually it's when Punk's unsafe and we get pushed back in. It needs that combo breaker opportunity. Yeah, Striker's been so smart with just doing like jab or jab jab into mm -hmm. roll just to get that punish. But if they did the close missile, I'm assuming that would punish that. Right. Uh, of course, one of those things like you can kind of guess, but we're still sort of in the game. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a smart choice. I don't know if Punk's quite ready for that yet. Though. Yeah, it's one of those things that you have to have a solid read on your opponent. The standard missile is far more consistent. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's looking like one of the best cameos I think yeah. so far. But Striker post reset still looking really good. Forward grab's gonna do it. 130 damage, easy peasy. Really good. And look at that! Finally a smile on Striker's face for the <laughs> first times in forever. I feel like this is so funny that it's like the opposite. Like I don't know. I feel like the the emotions of these players are opposite. Punk is laughing at everything. Even like the the unfortunateness of like the control issue. Punk's just laughing, having a good time. Striker literally looks like this is like if you lose this tournament, you're gonna be sent to like the Nether Realm. The Nether Realm. <laughs> Never to return. Well, uh, right now, looking pretty good, though. Yes. Technically up for the first time in this entire tournament. Technically, Striker is up. It's just by one yes. round, but that's uh, a lot. Right now, though, uh, Punk saying, no, I don't want any of that. Massive reach from Astro on that one. An excellent follow-up here. Nice overhead pickup from the uppercut from Sector. Oh, going for Chip. That is going to be full punish. I don't know if that was what... Punk wanted to do right there. That was a little bit weird. Punk's been really right. good about confirming those, unless it's like a situation where you just have to use it. Uh, but that's going to be a full conversion. You can see you don't really get too many normals into that right there. Right. So not a huge amount of damage. This is also going to be pretty scaled. Might not be death yet. Yeah, definitely not death. Jeez, it did like no damage at all. All right. Well, less than 70 health remains for Punk here. Let's see if Striker can close that gap. And it does succeed. Takes that first game in the reset. And it's starting just like it did from the outset of this grand finals match. All right, Striker now for sure in the lead. <laughs> one round is uh, negligible, yeah. but yeah. one game is not negligible. Uh, definitely, definitely up. And look at this smile. Smiles coming out from Striker. <laughs> I feel like like to even have stand a chance against Striker, you've got to you've gotta stress him out, right? You can't let the happiness start coming in. Or maybe he plays better if stressed out. Who, Who knows? knows? Uh, I mean, you have your emotions on your sleeve, right? Like, that is how Striker has been playing. Oh, this might be an answer. Okay, the projectile almost was an answer, but then itself, the, the arm's gonna land for sure. Uh, and the grab as well. Again, the extra damage from the sub grab is constantly coming into play. These leads are gigantic. It feels like Striker's just taking everything here. Ooh. This might not be enough. It's gonna be a potential chip situation soon, though. Oh, no. Gets over. Doesn't get a full punish. And another grab. Punk was doing such an amazing job oh, no. of avoiding all these grabs, but they're just starting to land over and over and over. I mean, look at the momentum Fight. gain that Striker got simply from resetting the bracket. Like, what a killer. Yeah, I mean, things could not have been much worse for Striker right. for a while. So then getting an advantage, everything is just looking better oh my and God. better. I don't know. Yeah, Punk needs to start watching out for these grabs for yeah. sure. I mean, the mix-up game poke. is there, right? But yeah, nice. The forward twos into the uh, sector uppercut works great. Yeah, and the other positive, because of that sector uppercut, you've lost out on the immediate recovery from Sub-Zero assists. That's a big win for Punk right now. Okay, this, again, might be the full punish. All right, all right, yeah. Oh, the uses the meter here. I like that. The unblockable is available. Is going to wait a little bit, delay the time. Going to get the full launch. What's the setup? It's going to be the freeze into the full Ooh. combo. We're almost definitely going to see a projectile here. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh, for the it went over! <laughs> it went over Astra. All right, we are potentially in another grab for game situation. A good tech this time. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't that the tech. Was the that board. was actually that the, was the, yeah, the board throw. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was actually just a little bit of damage, but we're almost at chip. And Striker, two games up. The crowd is definitely behind Striker right now, oh going wild. Goodness. They are super pumped right here, making it all the way through the loser's bracket. A two-game lead on Punk. 
I I would be I want to see the, the the comeback here, but also I kind of am just worried because don't stress out Striker any more than he already was in the last set. I don't know if his heart can physically right, take exactly. it. Yeah. <laughs> so for health reasons, I almost want to see this end soon. But no, uh, honestly, I, definitely want I to really want to see Punk doing this back as well. He's been playing yeah. so amazingly and also really such a heartbreaker outside of his control and what happened in that last oh. game. Not that necessarily Striker would have lost anyway, nice but jump. I just want to see it go well. With the stagger punish here, do we get this? No, we're just gonna go for the corner position. Okay, smart call, saves the sector assist, and again, we need that closeness because the roll call is fantastic, but every single time, Striker gets away with it. Yeah, or maybe just calling it a little bit earlier, earlier. too. Yeah. yeah, but so far, it's definitely betrayed Punk. Uh, most characters don't have that exact option uh, of getting that roll punish, so uh, definitely Punk not quite adapting to that. Uh, but that is gonna, oh, we're gonna see it again, again! Over and over, Punk is defaulting that a little bit too much. We're gonna see the unblockable reset one more time. By the way, that does do a little bit of damage to Havoc, so it's not entirely free. Uh, right, we have right, seen people right. kill themselves with it on accident. <laughs> That's true, actually. All right, right, nice. Yeah, go in the other direction this time. That's uh, that's nice to see. Oh, like a cross frame. That's a difference. We haven't seen forward two in a projectile very much for Punk mm -hmm. through the entire set, Ooh. and it worked right there. That no one, that way. One, yes. Nice, great conversion. But from I mean, not the much, but oh my god. All right, nice tech. Put that down three goes for the overhead setup here. Yes, really good escape. All right, the throw's landing a lot less. Punk yeah. feels a little uh -oh. bit back in this, but maybe that was an attempt to throw right there. It is very dangerous. You have to let go walk to throw tech in this game, essentially, so right. uh, you've got to be ready. Okay, nice. Drops the, a little bit right there. You can definitely see Striker a little bit unhappy with that, but uh, just needs a few more hits. It's gonna be down four, down four. Can we get another down four? I wanna see down back four for Chip, but no, not gonna need it. And Striker now on tournament points needs one more round to take down Punk from the loser's bracket. Oh, she's trying to down one interrupt there. Nice, got the stagger. All right, strong lead for this one here. And still has break opportunity. Jeez, uh, Striker's break consistently has been huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, both of these. Both yeah, of these really. Punk definitely had a little bit of like a string of not hitting them for a while. But right. uh, overall, throughout the set, it's nice. been so consistent. And a beautiful end. Wow. That was, uh, I mean, just a great way to get a ton of damage oh, off of no. it as well. Oh, no. Okay, a big launch. Now, again, not going to be huge damage. Did have Sub-Zero available. So this is going to be, uh, or would have been 300, a little bit of a late break. I think that only saved about 100 damage from that combo. But when you're this close into losing the tournament, you got to try and tie things up. That's gonna be great damage. The missile was timed well that time, and it might be well timed well this time too. No, close, chance for a comeback. No unblockable though, no, didn't have the meter. Oh no, got the low, has to respect this. Another throw with the escape, failed. No more touches, all that punk needs, but we're armored up, so no projectile quite yet. We're waiting for the arm to run down. And there oh. we go, an excellent trade for punk to take that game. That was so risky too, because if Punk had, that forward two had been ducked by Striker, right. that would have been any normal into Fatal Blow, and that yes. would have been GG. That would have been the entire tournament, but Punk with the confidence, working out, getting the first game on the board in this reset. Okay, there we go. Nice wall jumping into this one here. We get armor up, goes for the swing, the armored warfare. Oh, and already spending that bar. Getting the first hit does give you an extra bar in this game, so spending it off the bat, waiting a little bit, getting the unblockable reset. This is gonna be about 50% of Punk's life already gone. Does not get the anti-air off wow. on that jump kick. Everything working Striker's favor is gonna even yep. get the low off the back 2-2. Two, two. Oh no, Punk needs to find a way out now, but oh, no. down two, conversion into some Oki. That is looking beautiful, but a duck. That was great. Even in the last moments of life, Punk's gonna build a little bit more space. Even if the loss here is not quite in the corner. Tournament point once again though for Striker. A very strong showing there too. And you know what? That down two shuts down the uh, the wall falling button after the down back three from Astro. We spend the meter right there. So that is a great knowledge check there from Striker. Ready to pull that off. Oh no, the grabs are starting yep. again, but uh, forward two into that sector assist has worked so well. Yes. Striker ducks the first one in the entire set, and then almost none ever again. Yeah. Still though, gonna be able to keep the pressure on. Oh nice. no, Punk. That's not too. Looking so good. Yeah, this is gonna be good damage. I'll choose again not to side switch, keeping the corner. Oh, what a duck there from Striker. Big follow up here. 
Not gonna go for side, so I'm just gonna stay in the middle. You kinda don't need to because the way that Havoc works, right? Okay, Guaranteed okay. unblockable. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay, so you gonna wait a little bit longer. See if there's anything unsafe. Point blank uses it. Okay, this is not gonna be the kill, but it's gonna be mixed for game. Okay, there is gonna be a breaker used. No more meter. One big conversion here could do it, but we gotta see what the hit could actually be. Gonna oh get plus goodness. frames. Lands instead the overhead with some space. Nice. Lands the forward throws well. It wasn't tech, but not a huge amount of damage. Okay, there we go. That's big. One more hit of chip is all you need after this. There's so many different ways to do it. The down lands! Down that 4,000 striker! All the way from the loser's bracket whoa, whoa. is your CD Otaku 2023 champion! I thought they were about to collapse over here for a second. Yo, the homies picking it up here for striker. A well done. Uh, come back here against Punk. Punk was straight up at Striker's head for at least that first set. Punk's just a bully. Punk, you're a bully for a little bit there. What's going on? <laughs> no, honestly, so well played by Punk. I mean, it was Punk was doing all the right things. Yes. But I, that speaks so well to the mental fortitude of Striker. I don't think I've ever seen anybody look that stressed out yes. in a tournament set and then win. Not only get a reset, but win <laughs> in the grand finals. I feel like, like Striker was like an inch from death. Uh, yeah. Like just I a mean, heart really attack on it. stage right here. But to pull it all the way back and using Havoc as well. Like I said, a character that so many players have considered on the lower side of things and may even still, but everything was so good from Striker in particular. Yes. The anti airs were 100%. The neutral yes. was amazing. The mix-ups were all great. All the mind games, everything was just looking so good. And what a statement to yes. make in the first huge offline tournament for Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, the mental fortitude of Striker and of course the heart from Striker throughout that set. Absolutely tremendous. I mean, you know, a lesser player would absolutely have been crushed, like you said, from those two instances there in particular, because it seemed to all be running away from Striker and there would be no opportunity to come back out of that. But lo and behold, from the skin of your teeth, you do come out of it. And honestly, you had called out at that first game, that was a big momentum shift for Striker there. And granted, two games right after that, it did not go Striker's way, but that one game to start things off, I think really pushed it over the edge for Striker to continue that set. Yeah, if, if Striker had not won that first game and then everything that happened in the next two games had happened, that was GG, I think. Oh yeah, like, of course. Like, it's like right all there. those bad things happen to you all in a row, but the fact that Striker had that advantage to be mm -hmm. able to be like, okay, I've got a game, I've got like a chance to still make this back as far as just right. games and rounds, like I know that I can do well, really well in this matchup as well. Like. Just getting that early lead is so, so big. But honestly, like, what a good set. Yes. What an amazing set from both these players. Like, Punk doing such an amazing job of showing off what Ashra can do. Yes. Uh, I mean, adapting, making some very, very different, like, strategies. Again, yeah. we didn't see the overhead one no. time. We did not see it a single time in the entire top eight, at least, from, right. from him. Uh, we did see Full Auto use it, but the 4-3 right. not being used. It was just entirely neutral. It was entirely the Sagar game. And Punk taking it the entire distance just finally barely getting dethroned. Yeah. Uh, so just truly uh, amazing stuff. Uh, really from yeah. all of our competitors, I yeah. think this was an awesome top eight. Yeah, honestly, Punk had a strong understanding of the MK stagger game. It's so important to be implemented into a game like this too because, you know, so often we have been conditioned to be like, hey, let's go for these down one interrupts. And, you know, Punk has a complete understanding of how that is the mentality of how we come into this. So being able to frame trap off the mids uh, to consistently shut down the opponent to get bigger damage after the fact it's great to see that mental game so quickly come into it um, and also being able to execute that way. It's, it's so fascinating to not see that overhead at all from Astra and still get that mileage out of it here. I'm looking forward to seeing even more from Punk potentially uh, throughout this series as it continues to grow. I mean, we're only a weekend. We still learn so much. Um, and looking forward to see the continued character variety and even cameo variety that we're going to see in this game. Yeah, also, by the way, we, I don't think we saw the low string either from, from Punk, now that I'm thinking about it. It was like entirely 4-2 and 4-4 four, four, <laughs> and 2-1 one and 1-2-2 one, one, and one, two, two, or whatever it is. Like, that was literally the only strings we saw. Like, uh, a very, very different game than some people yeah. are playing. And uh, yeah, it, just learning how everybody plays so far yes. is amazing. But now our competitors have been decided their order. We've got our champion. Let's send it over to who else? But Jabaley to give them their awards. All right, guys, what'd you think of Mortal Kombat 1, our biggest anime event here? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, Facts and well, has congrats assists. to the WB team for bringing out <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1. Excited for you guys. I think it's an awesome game. So excited to see where this community goes with this game.
With that said, this is your top eight for Mortal Kombat. And one more time, thanks for supporting CO Taku. This I really appreciate it. The crossover, that's why we do this. We want to cross over communities, and you guys did a killer job. So, of course. With that, in seventh place, give it up to Beyond Toxin. So great to see Toxin returning to, uh, you know, a live competition, right? You know, it's been also so long. Also in seventh place, give it up to yeah. Infinity. Infinity also, you know, a great competitor, but maybe hasn't placed in the top eight for uh, maybe a little place, bit. In fifth place, give it up to yeah. Zintai. Yeah. Zintai, of course. Hopefully we'll see more of that Shang Tsung in the future as well, too. Yeah. Known for that in MK11. In fifth place, give it up to Coach Steve. I mean, what more do we... <laughs> you need to say about Steve, right? Two oh, medals. Too many medals. Too many medals. fourth place, my best friend and Blanca player, Full Auto. <laughs> <laughs> a Blanca player? Wait a minute. All right, get up. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. And Steve, third Steve place, give it up to Parsa HP. <laughs> now it's the, the big, the, the Havoc block. The havoc and block second here. place, our Street Fighter representative for Mortal Kombat. Give it up to Punk. Wait, you know Blanca's in Street Fighter, right, Jabali? <laughs> And your CO Taku 2023 <laughs> champion for Mortal Kombat 1. Give it up to Stryker. Great showing here from Stryker. Uh, a performance to be absolutely proud of. Uh, I mean, wow. The first Mortal Kombat 1 offline champion awesome. here. Take it away, Tremendous commentators. Thank showing. You. Yeah, uh, I mean, so well earned, so well earned from Stryker. I think yes. there's no doubt in anybody's mind that that was one Anyone? of the most like well earned. Or pencil on the ground, events, please bring right? it to Jabali. Like, this was just like it was not like oh yeah, like this was like just matchup and familiarity yeah. or or you got an easy bracket. It was like this was like the longest, most drawn out set of all time against some of the best players that yes. we have, uh, and it's just it was finally down to the wire. But honestly, I'm I'm just so impressed by yeah. all of them. And also, you know, I want to give a shout out. I know I hate to do this, but to Jabali. Bailey, uh, for <laughs> unlocking a bunch of the cameos and characters the yes. night before so that we could actually make this happen. And you know what? It turned out that it made it, it mattered because we had so many freaking Havocs that that was the character you needed to unlock. So uh, shout out to Jabaley for See, that. See, we didn't have what, that, yeah. Jabaley, what you did mattered. Finally. Something. No. Finally. <laughs> I know. I hate giving compliments to Jabaley. It's the worst thing in the world, but <laughs> I'm going to do it this one time. But yeah, no, seriously, thank you to Jabaley for bringing in this MK1 event. Uh, and also opening the doors even wider to, you know, this wonderful community here. Thank you all in the crowd for hanging out with us, watching this spectacular event and all the competitors that signed up as well. And for you at home, hanging out with us here at, for this glorious event. I'm looking forward to seeing even more because that was such a storied top eight action for MK1, especially a week into the game. We do have more CEO Taku action, even Street Fighter Top 24 coming up after this. But that's it for us here at Wonder Chef. It's been a great pleasure hanging out with you. And thank you for carrying me through this, because my goodness. Uh, you, uh, you've you definitely been doing a lot of screaming over the course of this weekend. It's, it's my uh, fault. I'm learning a lesson here today, all right? Y'all need to relax on MK1, and I'm going to learn from this, okay? <laughs> I think that's fair. But uh, all right, yeah, so that's going to be it for us, right? Like so, like you said, so many, so many different games. Yes. There are, I think, like four or five different games still have some time still yes. going on. So be sure to check out all the different streams. It's going to be the CEO Gaming. It's going to be this one that you're on right now. Uh, I think Funky P still might be running a stream. It looks like yeah. they are over there. And then I don't know if Juicy Game Night's still running anything for the rest of today, but there might be because that was still definitely one of the streams. Right. Uh, I feel like I'm still probably missing some others. But uh, regardless, yeah, any, any other last things before we close out? I think that'll do it here. So stay tuned. Top 24 Street Fighter 6 is going to be on the way.